Hello. Welcome to the Dangus. We are live. Can you hear me? Hello. How's it going? I'm out here in my beluga, which is huge. Look at it. It's like the size of this entire facility behind me. What a big, big boy. Anyway, how you doing? 07 folks, welcome to the Dangus and happy weekend Saturday, people. What we got here? We got Zakao. He was the first. The first of many. The first, the first man on the chat. You should erect a flag in his honor. And we got Dark Heavy there helping with the super secret tests. Hopefully those are showing up in the in the sidebar through the complicated algorithms. Uh, just sitting in here in a beluga on a planet in Shinrata Desra. Um, and, hey, we got Valor there. How you doing, Valor? Valor. And loot, you got some Fs ready for us <laughs> today. You might you might have some F play today. An 07 to you, sir, today. Um, your hands are like frozen chicken. Feet can't do anything. Oh, no. I mean, that's a, that's a weird metaphor. It's like my hands are like frozen chicken. I mean, frozen chicken is delicious. Uh, those, you know, if, if, if cooked. But do not cook your hands. Do not eat your eat your hands. Um, looks like one of the kaiju in the Ultraman series. It really does the beluga. Um, like, just let me show you like the size of this beast, right? Like, I was coming in to land on this planet and I smashed it into the ground, um, right on top of this facility. And that's when I realized just just like how damn big this thing is. Uh, faster, faster. Like, watch this. Okay. Like. This beluga is basically bigger than the damn building. <laughs> like, when when you know that like an entire colony is not as big as your ship, that's like, that's impressive. Whoa, what's going on? Getting some weird frame rates. Elite is acting a little bit goofy today. Look at that shadow too, eh? It looks a little bit weird. Yeah, my frame rates have just plummeted. What is going on? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna boost away. Boost away from the bad frame rates. Get away from them. Chicken is good. Chicken feet? Not so much. Yeah, chicken feet would be like, I imagine like those little, what do you call them? Like the little pitchfork or, you know, trident style. The little three toes with the one little itchy back toe. I would not want chicken feet. That would not support my weight. The chickens, I have mind respect for. They have a, they have a tough life. They are eaten for food. But yeah, we are here in Shinrata Desra, but what we're going to be doing today, so I, I guess I'll, I'll start off with a little bit of an update, is unfortunately <laughs> uh, some faction news, or, or faction application news, is um, we did the stream last week of looking for um, like a home in the bubble. Unfortunately, we were rejected again due to the number of factions in the systems, and I emailed Frontier, and their response was basically like, don't get attached to any systems and keep trying again until you fail and don't do spreadsheets even though you have to do spreadsheets. Okay, thanks for your help, Frontier. Okay, I'll just just keep applying again and again and again until we eventually get it. So we're going to have to do another comb the bubble thing, but I probably won't do it as a stream just because, like, they're really long streams and I hate disappointing. So I don't know. We'll just, like, figure it out keep throwing the applications and then when we get approved I'll, I'll announce you know where the hell the faction's going to be and at this point it's just yeah wherever we can get it there is is going to be the key um so yeah aiming for unnamed systems i mean like i don't want to be in a system called like crucia sector imv b2o because i don't want to say that right i want to have at least like you know shalit sure at least it's called or cockapic Actually, that's, that's a great name, Cockapick. <laughs> it is very close to Shinrata. Is this one on the forum? Okay, I'll save that one for later, Cockapick. Actually, you know what? Why don't we go to Cockapick? Let's let's do our dirty business there. So, the, the idea for today's stream. So, join me in Cockapick. That, that's K O K I P I K. Cockapick. We're going to head to Cockapick in the blue guy named Free Willy. Um. And what we're going to do today, I, I thought it would be fun to try a different method of covertness. So, you know, if you're in-game, uh, I'll, I'll throw you wing invites. Let me get... Oh, hold on, hold on. Transitioning to Super Cruise. Can't use ship menus there. All the resources have been used. Let's get Dark Heavy in the team. Minari, there you are. 
invite you to the team. Or really, like, it should be crew, isn't it? But I don't know, for multi crew it doesn't matter anymore. But you guys can pile up, I believe the Beluga now has... Should be four seats, right? Yeah, you can see there's your co-pilot, your other co-pilot, and then a uh, fourth seat for God knows what. Um, but what we have loaded this Beluga up with, um, just take a look at our modules. <laughs> We've got advanced missile racks. <coughs> We've got a Guardian frame shift drive booster for extra distance. And then I've got multiple planetary vehicle hangers. So if you look here, we've got a lot of SRVs. So we could do a multi group four. And there's an SRV for everyone. And even ship launch fighters, because that's why not, right? Um, and the idea here is to do, we want to do covert missions, but we want to do them differently. I don't want to get out of my ship to do these covert missions. So the plan is that whoever has the covert assassination mission stays in their ship with dumb fire missiles and the people in the wing or the team or whatever the heck they're branding it as these days will have to identify the target, lure them into the open so that they can be missiled from above. And we'll see if that's a viable way of performing covert missions in a giant facility sized ship raiding death from above. Um, it, you know, being in a ship, maybe you won't set off the alarm and you can get away before uh, the mission fails. Um, it's something to try. It's it's a little science today. So first of all, we're going to have to find a place where we can land. I don't think we can land on refineries. Okay, maybe we can't go to this system because <laughs> we need a place that we can land. Is there a ground-based facility? Um, there is. Planetary ports. Do they have large pads? 77,000 light years away. That's not too bad. Let's try Bower Sox base. Oh, I'm wanted. What the hell? I thought I paid that fine off. Hold on. I did pay that off. I went to jail for... Damn it. Okay, I do have an Empire Bounty. And apparently... Apparently LTT48487 I have a bounty with. Is that what that faction is for? That doesn't make any sense to me. Hold on. Uh, how do I do this again? I have to zoom in. We just click that. That's not the same faction. Okay. That's kind of dumb. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try a little trick here. I'll be right back. What's up, Dickoza? How you doing? Yeah. Let's try this. I'm going to have to reform the wing here. Or maybe you guys can reinvite me to the wing if you're still in the wing. Oh, I'm still leaving team. Let's see if that worked. Because sometimes it will happen with Prime that you have to just re-log in and rog out. Nope! Still wanted. Damn it. Okay, fine. We'll find another place. Forget about Cockapick. <laughs> Which, again, that makes me laugh. I love it. How about the Lugger system? Are we wanted there? It is Federation, but... Or Jamba Van. Jamba Van sounds fun. They're in the Civil Liberty State. Let's go there. Okay, thank you for the invite. Okay, head to the Jamba Van system. Bring on your jam and your van. It's Jamba Van. Better call Space Song. I know, right? It's just like, like, the crime and punishment system is still very nebulous. It is very nebulous. You're making non-Bond but Bond music? Oh yeah, I sent to Coastal a little thing. I'm planning to do like um, some secret agent elite content soon. I don't want to spoil too much, but I've got like a plot line planned out for my next video series kind of deal. Should be fun. And Tecoso, as usual, is helping with uh, some awesome, awesome music. And by the way, I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about this, but I've heard the preview of Tecosa's new album, and damn, it is, it is fine. I've listened to it like three times now. It is awesome. I cannot wait for release. If you don't know Tecosa's music, I believe there should be a link in the um, description there to his SoundCloud. And I'd say that that is my recommended listening if you are flying around in space. Throw on some Tecosa when you're exploring, and it will amplify uh, everything that is elite. It'll make your experience very enjoyable. Tocoso does write a lot. He's written, how many songs have you written now, Tocoso, that are like elite themed or whatever? There must, you must be like over 30 at this point, because you've done one album, 
And then there were songs like um, My Ass Bex. I don't think you had that on the previous album. So there were like songs that are not on the previous Elite album that you've written about Elite. Like, it's quite a quite a library now. Like, there's enough for an entire radio station if they could put that in game. Braben? You listening, Braben? I know you're watching, Braben. Come out in the chat, Braben. Say hello to everyone. We know that Braben watches all the streams. That's what he does at this time. He's not doing CEO stuff. He's just sitting there watching people play Elite. What's up, Nick? How you doing? Oi, oi. Oi, oi. So we are heading, by the way, to Land Orbital in the... What the hell is this system called? Jampa Van. <laughs> I love that name, actually. This will be another candidate. How many factions are here? Let's see. How do you find this out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, that's seven, which is too many. And then it looks like Brethren of the Void probably is a player faction. Members of this group are engaged in the promotion of a democratically approved... Where do you see the faction descriptions that know that they're like player factions? I don't know. It's all a little confusing. The spatula folder is over 200. Yeah, I've got, just in terms of like, and like the soundtrack that you're hearing in the background is all Tokoso, and just, it's an extensive library. How oh, does, um, let me see here. 4.1 hours of Tokoso music. <laughs> that's that's half a, half a, half a workday, you know? Yeah, loot is actually Braven. That, we should start that as a conspiracy, that Braben has a second account called Loot, and he just goes around and <laughs> loves to, like, watch commanders die and press F for respect, though. That's good. You get respect from the Braben. That's a nice little blue blue honey of a, of a, of a gas giant, Jambavan 3. Got some resource extraction sites. What's that? The MS Costa Concordia. Is that, like, a... Like, there's a... Okay, there's a facility there. It's not coming up. That's probably a fleet carrier, then. So this is probably a system that has players in it. I imagine that, like, we're not gonna uh, find a, like, a home system for the faction that's close to Shinrata. That's probably, like, pretty, like, you know, it, um, uh, taken up territory, if you will. Also, something weird is going on in Elite today. As you can see, my engine trails are in front of me. Um, kind of, I guess time shifted a little bit but i'm noticing like a lot of weird glitches today so we might have some interesting situations slow down for auto dock i don't think so i will slow down but once i get in the mail slot because i don't trust auto dock with beluga and mail slot if you do then uh hey all the power to you but i'm a suspicious person i don't trust i don't trust anything i don't trust auto dock i don't trust auto land i don't trust auto launch or auto super cruise. None of that. Okay, let's actually flip around. Alright, we're coming in the mail slot. And then as soon as we get in, that's where auto dock. Now I can now you can auto dock your life away. Uh, Loot is the Braven, he will have to press B soon. Press B for Braven. <laughs> Has anyone seen Lord Braven and Loot in the same room? Hmm. That's true. <clears throat> you haven't done any auto dock since 2020? You're missing out, my friend. They did actually expand like the whole auto dock system from from what it was back then, if, if it will let me show you, um, is that you have, where the hell is it, uh, you say you have your flight assist, you have your auto dock, auto launch, and auto land, so it was kind of cool, because it will let you land on a planet, so you can actually just, you know, lower your speed and it will find a landing spot for you, which is great, but sometimes it just doesn't seem to know what it's doing, and it will try and try and try to land you somewhere that you probably shouldn't be. But it does work 60% of the time, all the time. Actually, yes, Nick's on the stream in ED 1.3 time. Wait, you were in a stream with Braven? That's quite an accomplishment, actually. Uh, you haven't done any auto docs since 2020, so nope, in solo even. We haven't done auto docs in solo. Being manually landed since 1984. <laughs> Yeah, that's when I manually uh, undocked with uh, with my mother, 1984. That's how old I am. Oh my god, it's been so long. Like, we're hopping in the 80s, man. That was that was the greatest decade ever, and now it's just like lame times. Anything post 1980s is just lame. We need to bring back disco and punk music and cocaine and clubs, but like not like modern clubs, like like dirty, dirty. 80s dance clubs with like New Order playing 
<laughs> oh, you were in the chat. See, that doesn't prove anything, because, like, Raven could be on multiple accounts logged in on different computers in the chat. So, I, I don't believe it until I see it. Now, look at this station. Nice little blueness here. I like the blueness of the lights. It's always worth giving a, a quick check to the uh, Pioneer to Supplies and see scary. if they have any lovely goodies that are pre-engineered. Uh, they do have a level 2 Karma C44 if you're in the market for that. Not really um, a bad gun, but not also my favorite one. You've but listen, everything. we are here to come pick up some Covert missions. So if you want, join up and uh, come down here to Land Orbital in whatever the hell system we're in. And, which is, hold on, I should say, somewhere here. It's Jamba Van, right? Jamba Van. Yeah, the Jamba Van system. And we're wanting to find some covert missions. So, that is under, I believe, the uh, covert. We want covert assassination. So, okay, professional assassination. We're looking for covert, though. Clean assassination, what is that? Uh... The mission must be completed without any casualties. I love that. It's just like, okay, we want you to kill this person, but don't kill anyone. I think that just means, like, don't kill anyone else, but how do they know? Hmm. Okay, so there actually is nothing covert here. That kind of throws a wrench in the plan. Unless they're just not labeled. Uh, okay, well... We could just start with, like, a an assassination mission and see how that goes. Take down Ruby Bar. Uh, what's the difference between a takedown and an assassination? Is, like, assassination illegal and takedown is not? You see this it says illegal mission, and then you go to here, and it's like, that's not illegal, but, like, that's, like, exterminate people. Which is, you know, kind of genocidal. Okay, this one's not illegal. Okay, we'll start with the non-illegal, you know, thing. Yeah, okay, so the, this is like an anarchy faction, so they don't give a shit who you kill. So let's try this. Start level 5 sounds fun. So we gotta go to Diaz's camp. That's in the Cannibalami. Oh my, I can't pronounce that. We'll try that. Actually, let's just see. Are there any power regulators? Because I'm always in the market. Oh my god, hold on, there is. Clean assassination, eliminate evil Wily. Okay. I do want a power regulator, so let's try this one as well. Yeah, this is one of those assassination missions without any casualties, so... That should be interesting, because the way we're going to do this is a little bit different. Rather than, like, going down to the planet and, you know, doing it properly... Of course, we have to do everything differently on Dengus, because we're difficult like that. And by the way, really nice lighting here. This would be a nice little home system. Like, I would like... A home system that is cool lighting. Ah! Giant messy pumpkin man! <laughs> Hello, sir. Let me salute you. I do love the new uh, emotes. I think that is one of my favorite features that they've added. Uh, hold on. I can, I, can, I can point at you people. Yeah, that's right. That's you. Hello. I love that. That will definitely be interesting and awesome for uh, movie making purposes. But all right, um, I really like the lighting in this system. I could just sit here and just look at this all day and just lick the glass. Yeah, it, it, it looks good. And ooh, I'm a rum. I wish I could buy some from the damn bartender, but of course, uh, looking for something. These bartenders are just for material trading. And actually, it wouldn't be a terrible thing to the only thing you won't find is this do a little trading. But what really grinds my gears about this is so let's say, for example, I want more graphene, but my inventory is already full. In order for me to trade, here's the thing. So let's say I go, okay, well, hold on a second. Yeah, so let's say I want to trade uh, viscoelastic polymer. Okay, it's actually working. I was going to say, sometimes when you're trying to trade, it will uh, go down in value. This will get me four units of graphene, right? So I'm giving up 16 to get four, which means I'll have 12 net space units. Sold. Fine. And actually, yeah, I should probably do a little bit more of that. Um, but like the only thing that's worthwhile, if you tra like if you aren't trading for graphene, which is like a ridiculous cost, what'll end up happening is you'll you'll ha have to trade like one at a time because your inventory's full. 
and so it's super annoying that way. Um, let me just get rid of some oxygenetic bacteria here. And again, it's 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 better to just dump it all into graphene. Uh, that will give me five barter cost per unit. But then you see here, asset capacity, 1,007 over 1,000. So that won't work. I can only trade for five at a time. It's really confusing. Make it simple and let me buy drinks from you. Damn it. Anyway, rant over. Where'd Dark Heavy go off to? Is he still looking out the windows, licking the glass? Yeah, Dark Heavy, if you want to go um, into uh, my Beluga, we can do some multi -crew. The Beluga, of course, is, um, you can see Dark Heavy ship there as well. Miscellaneous, that's a really fun name, actually. That's very apt. Um, but yeah, what's kind of cool is, without any casualties, so no F, well, okay. It didn't say that I couldn't die, it said that you can't kill anyone. But as you all know, commanders don't die, we just rebuy, right? Because we are all just holograms walking around, and they just you just download the commander back to a terminal, or however that works. Look at the size of this beluga. The beluga is a big boy. And it has a weird landing spot where it's like right in the middle of the ship. I do kind of wish that they would at least have like a little thing that would come down, like an elevator, kind of like Star Citizen. You could get in. Like, where am I entering here? Like. Is that, does that circle open up and then I like it like beams me up like uh, like an alien? Maybe. You can always tell when Spatula's been in a station, smear marks on the glass. <laughs> it's certainly bought. That's certainly a good way to tell. So, okay. Um, let me just do some root plotting here. So yeah, our targets are in nearby systems. So I think maybe we'll head to the Cannabilami. Cannabilami. Cannabilami system. We'll head there first, and then we'll do the clean assassination after. So we'll do our test run there. Looks like there's... Who's, who's over there in Hilla? That's, uh, of course, the home of the Ployed. That's uh, Plater's system, which is not far from here, actually. It's a good location. Very close to Shinratra. Shinratra, dra, dra. But, yeah, we'll head there. Uh, Gurchin Assis is asking how can you be of assistance. You're on board already. Ah! Okay, yeah, there, there's a glowy pumpkin man in my cockpit. So, Minori, meet us. Um, okay, you're in land orbital as well. I'll wait for you to come if you want to come on the Beluga. And you can just join up and we can do some little, like, multi-crew, right? Which is kind of cool now. So you can see here, yeah, the Beluga has four seats instead of three. Which is, uh, there's a select few of the larger ships that now have increased capacity. So, multi-crew, I don't know if they've, like, buffed it up a little bit but i know phil barnes was in the chat talking about like it's a little more stable than it was before so that's kind of nice the music matched the costume oh yeah did it get scary when dark heavy showed up in the pumpkin gear <coughs> and hold on a second valor saying you once saw agent orange and the dead kennedys oh my god i would kill to go back in time and see the, like the dead kennedys and agent orange at the same show that's amazing that's a great lineup i would love to see those guys in the 80s too right Dead Kennedys would be an awesome band. And, and yeah, um, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, there's a good Dead Kennedys-style Tercoso song that's coming soon, which is one of my favorites on the album. I love the Dead Kennedys. They're weird. <laughs> All right. Um, Mary, are you, are, you, um, are you coming? Go to Elevator. Um, select Beluga. Then walk... 50 paces and jump aboard. Let's see if we can see him from external cam walking to the ship. Because I assume you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see the other commander as they exit the elevators, right? And look at this, no blackout cam. So I can go right to the elevators without like losing my vision, which is awesome. Like, thank you Frontier for finally doing that fix. So in theory, I should be able to see Minari come out of the elevators. Unless you're already on the ship, and I've missed you, but... Let's set it up here, like a little security camera footage. Let's see, will he pop in? Uh, you were in high school, oh my god, yeah. Like, honestly, like, one of my biggest things is, like, if I had a time machine, you know, yeah, going back and killing Hitler, kind of cool. 
uh, probably would like really disrupt the timeline and then we get like a red alert feature where like the Russians the big bads but you know I would want to go back in time and see concerts man because like there's so many bands I would love to see Led Zeppelin The Clash Dead Kennedys Sex Pistols like to be in the 80s seeing like a Prince concert man like how cool would that be and unfortunately you know a lot of these uh, you know great bands are either dead or long since uh, disbanded and there's just no opportunity to see them. Joe Strummer would have been one of my top picks to see uh, The Clash play live. Or The Who. And I mean, like, there, there, you, there are some remnants. I saw, um, I'm in, in Space Canada here in, in the city of Toronto. And um, uh, Peter Hook and The Light are coming. And they're going to do, like, a Joy Division set. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd go see that. Because I like New Order. I like jo Joy Division. But, like, to have seen Joy Division with the lead singer, Ian, in their prime in the 80s, like, what I wouldn't give to go back and do that. Are you coming, Zakao? Are you, are you uh, stuck in the elevators? Oh, you're not in the uh, the party anymore. I'll send you an invite. Anyone else who's online, did, let me know. Bring you into the group. But, so, yeah, in this uh, Beluga, um, so I've basically equipped, like, the advanced missile racks. And I was talking to Dark Heavy earlier, I'm like, I don't understand why you wouldn't go with the advanced missile racks, because if you go into outfitting, which apparently you can't do when multi-crew is happening, which actually makes no sense at all. But um, the difference between the advanced missile rack and the normal missile rack is literally nothing. Like, there's no difference. Are you, uh, what happened? Did you crash? Oh no, he must have crashed. You're not even on the list now anymore. Well, huh, but... All right, we'll tell you what. Um, we'll start. We'll start with Dark Heavy. Where? How did you get over there? <laughs> Are you allowed to switch seats in multi crew? I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Hold on, I want to give this a, cow a second to. His game probably crashed, which makes sense because things are acting up today. It's. I'm getting some weird frame rates. I'm getting some weird glitches lighting issues, seeing through some things, but that makes it all the more dangus. That makes me excited to explore the bugs. Okay, well, tell you what, we're gonna go to the first system, and then you can come and catch up. Let's get this dog and pony show on the road. And so, Dark Heavy, you're gonna be you're gonna be the, the essentially the reconnaissance scout person. So the goal here is we want to do an assassination mission, but we don't want to leave the ship. Like, the person who is... Oh, you'll catch up with you later. Okay, that's okay. Like, the person who is... Has the assassination mission has to kill the target, but from a giant beluga... Uh-oh, flight risk. Ruby Bar is aware that you're your target. Oh, no, that means... Um, what? What does that mean? If they believe they're in immediate danger, they're likely to try and flee. Make sure you take them out before that can happen. So, sometimes you get... Uh, an update to the mission that the target is like no longer where they were supposed to be. They found themselves in a different area. Boost, boost, boost. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. That's always a risky uh, gambit is boosting through the mail slot in the beluga. If you get stuck in the mail slot on a, on a beluga, it's game over, maybe. You're dead. Alright, off to the Cannibalami system. Cannibalami. This is what I don't want to happen, is I don't want our faction to get stuck in a system with a name like that that I just can't pronounce. <laughs> Otherwise, it exposes my uh, my uh, illiteracy. Um, but the Jamba Band system actually looking pretty cool. Lots of nice stuff here. Garin Point looks like a lovely place to go. Dickinson Arms Facility. Love these like arms facility. There's just like these weapons depots littered around the bubble. We're such a militaristic society in the future. You're in. Can I just send you, like... Oh, I could send you, like... I'm like, I could send you a multi-crew invite, but then you're going to be, like, a holographic commander and won't be able to do anything but sit in the ship. It's so weird now, because they kind of changed how multi-crew works with Odyssey in a positive way, in the sense that, like, yeah, if you're in the same team, it doesn't. you don't need to get a separate multi-crew invite. Like, you can be in the wing and then just get on top of your, your friend's ship. So you can meet us at the location. And uh, leave your ship there and get in the Beluga, and then like, then you'll have to taxi everywhere. Uh, okay, so we're gonna head here to the blue place. We know that it's important because it's blue. 
But yeah, so this mission... Oh, let me share this, by the way. Um, which one are we going to? Cannibalami. I'm going to share that with the, the team. That way everyone gets paid out. That is something that I do wish um, they would tweak a little bit, too. Because, like, I really like... I Like, we did a bounty hunting stream not too long ago in, like, a Hazrez. And I found that that was a really nice activity to do as a group. Because as long as you've shot the target, everyone gets paid the same on the bounty. With missions, the problem I find is that you can only share one mission at a time. So, you know, if you wanted to stack up 10 missions and go and, and sort of do them all, unfortunately, you can only do one at a time and then go back and cash it in, then share the next one. So it becomes kind of a hassle when you're, when you're doing it, um, you know, as a group. Unless, I guess, if everyone takes, like, one mission each and then shares it with the group, that might work. Actually, we should do some testing on that. But, um, you know, it would be nice to see, like, a little more support for, um, like, you know, things that you do in a wing shouldn't be, you know, like, restricted, right? Like, if you're all helping for the same mission, or if you all have eight different missions, everyone in the wing should get paid. Like, why is why does Frontier hate for us to make money? I'm only at, what, 150 million at this point, which, ooh, that's actually really bad. What did I spend on? Maybe upfitting this beluga was quite expensive, I guess. So I was like, I had 200 million in the bank yesterday, so... Did I really spend 50 million on, like, modules? Yeah, I guess I put, like, a 7A thruster. That can be expensive. Our rebuy cost is 10 million. Oh my god, okay. Um, loot, about that F key. Um, <laughs> let's try, hopefully not dying because that's like a lot of money for rebuy 10 million i can't deal with that but i guess it is what it is 470k for you oh my god yeah that's still pretty high what are, what are you flying though you're flying a, a viper so that's like yeah i mean that's 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 not too bad like half a million dollars though for a small ship it's still quite a lot all right so we're coming in on dios's camp so this this bounty is the one that i believe has the tip off so if the target survives the attack the target will flee so there are stakes here right so what we're going to do is we're going to land near the facility and then dark heavy you're going to jump out um you can take one of the srvs hopefully and then i will hover over the base you're going to find our target and then we're going to rain death from above and hopefully let me just make sure i got my fire group set up no i don't there we go all these missiles. <laughs> oh, the beluga of death. I love it. Yeah, we might die because I'm like, these facilities do have, like, turrets and stuff, right? So, I mean, like, if we were really playing for keeps, we could disable all that sort of stuff, which would require a little more, like, stealthiness. But I'm a little bit worried that this target might flee, so I don't know. Maybe we want to play it riskier just to be able to do it quicker. Uh, V4, that's still not getting screen time. What do you mean screen time? Well, get your get your Viper in here, I'll give it all the screen time it needs. You can, you can uh, uh, we'll make the Viper Mark IV the star of the show. Viper Mark IV is like a definitely a more versatile, uh, multi-purpose version of the Viper Mark III. But I think I prefer the, Vi the Mark III just in terms of its look. And it's just this sharp little arrow. Oh, you have Seeker Missiles. If the target flees, leave me behind. You can always, like, yeah, you can you can always cap, but hopefully the target will not flee. See, that's why I, I don't, I haven't encountered a target fleeing yet. And I'm like, how does that work? Do they actually run to a ship? Because if so, that's kind of neat. And then you have to, what, chase down the ship? But I guess if the ship gets into Super Cruise, then it's game over, right? But they won't see me coming, not in this, like, 700 foot behemoth of a ship the size of like three football fields which I don't know how big a football field is so that measurement is completely completely a guess to it hey, look at that my Diamondback Explorers arrived at Jameson yeah when I I, I, I was I started a little bit late because I'm like I went in to log in to get things set up and found myself far in the outskirts of the bubble with a wanted find and like had to pay it off, go to a couple penal colonies, you know, the usual. 
Alright, we don't need no landing pads, we can just land right here. Oh yeah, you see that? Auto landing in progress, it's a little bit, a little bit annoying, but... So interestingly enough, yeah, from, uh, from your ship, you can target, like, all these ground turrets, but you cannot target people. They're just too small for uh, a ship to be concerned with. Okay, auto landing. Come on. Okay, that's it. That's it. You've lost your privileges. I'm doing this. We're going in manual. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. So, Dark Heavy, your job is to find our target, draw them out, and then we will rain hell and fire from above covertly in a way that will hopefully uh, hopefully accomplish this mission. So we can follow Dark Heavy in camera mode. Let's see here. Where'd you go? You already out there? Damn, you're quick. Is that him? No, that's a guard. Is that our target? Who knows? There's Dark Heavy. <laughs> I can tell by the giant greenness. So another interesting thing is if the target is indoors, obviously like you can't just shoot the buildings and kill them. But one thing that we thought about was, you know, you can turn off the oxygen on top of these buildings. You'll often find like a little control panel that will um, exit the oxygen from the building, which I don't know where it is, but um, yeah. And then you could draw your target out that way. So let's let's see. Dark Heavy is here doing his reconnaissance. The Matthew reconnaissance. Matthew McConnell renaissance. <laughs> we'll just follow him. And I love that there's no blackout cam, so I can get shots like this, and it doesn't like ruin everything. Look at this sneakiness. No one will see him coming with his. Oh, did I actually hit the limit? Yeah, the camera's like. Oh, no, I think I hit an invisible wall. But we can get down here. So you can see Dark Heavy is now hacking the computer. Of course, the computer is in privacy mode, which I think it's kind of funny. Like, how does it show me privacy mode, but Dark Heavy can see a screen, right? Like, wouldn't it just be like one of those monitors where if you kind of look at it from the side, you can't see it? Oh, looks like he's finished. He's found the target. Here is that uh, said machine that knocks out the oxygen. So if we ever needed to get someone out of a building, that is the way to go. Because they'll all put on their helmets and go outside to wonder what the hell's going on. So let's see here. Dark Heavy is trying to source out the target. Again, we don't want them to see us coming. Otherwise, they will make a run for it. So we need to be stealthy. Right up until we're not. It looks like Dark Heavy is looking in the building, so maybe that target is in there somewhere. Could they be a warehouse worker? Is that like, are we are we trying to kill an Amazon worker? Who's our who's our mission provider? Jeff Bezos. Whoa! All right, we're jumping. So I'm, okay, that's about as far as my camera can go, apparently. So it looks like potentially our target is in the control panel. So that could be our target right there. Maybe it's that guy over there. Where's Dark Heavy? He's over there on the roof. So yeah, it might be a case. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the oxygen panel. Is our target inside? Do we need to flush him out? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to get ready in the beluga. We're going to undock our hard points. Oh, apparently that will give us sanctions. We don't want no sanctions. We'll position ourselves in a lovely... Uh, like, downward position like that. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like Dark Heavy is disabling the oxygen to the building. Oh, we're pad loitering, apparently. Okay, we'll go a little bit higher up. That should be fine. Back to camera mode. Again, the beluga is literally like, they'll never miss us. <laughs> this is so covert. <laughs> it's 
So Dark Heavy has popped the oxygen from the building, as you can see by the, the, the smoke there. And you can see that there's no one in, in, the, in the, uh, the rooms anymore. They're all probably running out of the building now. We have people on the ground that are looking up above in the sky. <laughs> this, this terrible force that's uh, going above. So where is Dark Heavy? Let's, let's uh, target him. <clears throat> Dark Heavy, you must point us to the target. We must find uh, Ruby Bar. And we must not let them know where we're coming. So Dark Heavy is going to mark our target. Is that our target right there? Looks like that person is going up on the roof. Oh, frame rates. Oh, frame rates. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've just smacked into the building. Todd loitering, Todd loitering. Hold on. Get back, get back, get back. Why is my shit not working? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Three seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Okay. Phew. Phew. <laughs> the, yeah, I'm getting some wacky frame rates right now. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Wait, it just fixed. It just fixed. Wonderful. Okay, Dark Heavy. Where we got Ruby? Point us to Ruby. Oh my god. Yeah, the frame rates are a little bit ridiculous right now. So we're following Dark Heavy. It might be a case where our target is not leaving the building. Is that what's going on? Some pad loitering. Got to avoid those pads. Is this our target, Dark? Is it the one that's outside the building pointing their flashlight at you? Just gonna come in camera mode. Dark Heavy, are you pointing at the target? Is this our target, Ruby? Are you Ruby, ma'am? I wish they had like little name tags so that you could see them in camera mode. All right, let's. I I, I guess that could be our target. So let's let's try shooting. So Dark Heavy, you're gonna want to watch out because missiles are about to go flying. I want to be out of the pod loitering zone. Oh god! Oh god! Assassination target is fleeing. Um. Okay. Um, this is crazy. Shields are offline. I am so for some reason I am disabled. I think I hit a drone with my bulk. Oh god! The frame rates. The frame rates. Okay, we're looking for someone that is fleeing. Uh, Dark Heavy, you might want to... Did I kill you? Oh, apparently we got her! 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 Okay, now go, 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 go! Boost, boost, boost! Dark Heavy, are you dead? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Dark Heavy. I think you were collateral damage on that one. We did it! We killed an assassination from the space. Yeah, so unfortunately, we did have a casualty. Uh, Dark Heavy was destroyed in that. Mainly because, like, if you really look at, like, the missile placement, right? Like, we got two missiles on the top, and then the rest of them are kind of on the bottom. I almost feel like maybe, like, just firing these three would be more accurate, because, you know, th like, the, the difference between the top and the bottom of Beluga, like, that's, like, a six-story building, right? But okay, that's cool. So now we gotta go um, get Dark Heavy. Where the heck are you, man? Where have you gone? We'll come pick you up. I got a taxi service here. <laughs> I don't have for Dark Heavy, please. If we could if we could give Dark Heavy our respects. But that okay, so this is a viable strategy, is it doesn't matter you don't have to leave your ship. You can kill them from above. The question is, was that covert enough? I don't know. Now, I guess the best thing to do is go back and cash that mission in so I can share the next one. But first, let's find Dark Heavy. It does look like he's in the Jamba Van system. Where are you in here? Did, like, where did it spawn you, Dark Heavy? 
Oh, you're back at the station. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. So then we'll, we'll head back to Jamba Van. That's actually really convenient then, because then you get to get um, get the reward early. And then, yeah, if, if you want Dark Heavy, look for um, any covert assassination missions. If you find any, pick them up. But now we know this is a viable strategy. This is this is gonna work. Uh, the question is, yeah, like, is it is it covert, right? Like, are they gonna raise the alarms for a beluga, or is that just for? Do they reserve the alarms for like feet infiltrations? Now, in terms of frame rate, it's pretty bad. Um, and again, I'm not sure if that's just like Odyssey being off today and some weirdness, or what that is, but. It's fine. All right, well, we'll head back to, what the hell was that station called? Land Orbital. And it's blue. That makes it easy. Head back to Land Orbital. We will uh, dock ourselves up. We will cash in that mission. And then we'll go out and um, do another one. We'll uh, do Eva Wiley. And maybe we can switch it up, and this time I'll be the scout. And maybe Dark Heavy, we can take your uh, missile boat. You've got room for at least two multi-group, but already wants to jump in, so that's that solves that problem. But yeah, this this could be a very efficient way of doing assassinations, right? Like rather than going in worrying about permissions and all that sort of stuff, and then running back to the ship, like just yeah, just blow up the ship. The person who you blow up, who's the mark, also gets to go back and cash in the mission. And there's no rebuy if you're on foot, so it's basically free real estate, right? This could be viable. Now I wonder if, like, if, yeah, if you got, like, a multi-crew of four, and then you went station by station, or, like, took, like, three assassination missions, went bit by bit, would that create an efficient grind? Have we stumbled onto the next money-making meta in Elite Dangerous? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think that the best money will ever come from missions. Missions can be decent payouts, but they're nothing like um, uh, what mining can deliver. Or even exploration. Exploration... I mean, exploration is more like risk versus reward. Like, it's low risk and high reward. Uh, but bounty hunting was a really nice way to make money. And fun. Uh, if you optimize to the brim, core mining is still profit. Yeah. Core mining, really? Okay. I haven't done core mining in a while. Like, the last few times I did mining, it was all just laser stuff, because I found out... Damn it. Okay, hold on. You have something that I want. What? Like, I literally have nothing in my hold, so I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Stupid MCs. Fine. I'll just evade your damn addiction. And you can take a frameshift drive timeout. And Minority's getting, uh... Interject as well. But if you're not, just simply hop on a hauler and rock hop into your Python. Yeah, I mean, that. Um, the, I mean, I, I even just. I don't mind the taxi cabs. Like, I have to taxi here, and the good thing about the taxi cabs is you can just, like, sit back and relax while the taxi does all the work for you. Did you miss anything? Well, Valor, we did confirm that. Assassination is 100% viable via ship launch missiles in a beluga. So, Dark Heavy marked out the target. I sprayed missiles everywhere. Dark Heavy's life was sacrificed, sacrificed but we did kill the target. And um, very conveniently, it put Dark Heavy right back to the mission giving station, so he was able to cash in right away. So, more convenient than we thought. Now we're going to try it the other way around, where, where um, I'll mark the target, Dark Heavy can be the missile boat. And we'll see how it looks from the other perspective. <laughs> the mission... Wait, what? The ship panel says mission completed, but station has no reward. What? What do you mean? Is that bugged? I mean, yeah, you're shared on the mission, so it should be, like, rewards. Maybe... It I have to cash it in first? I don't know. That's bizarre. Hopefully it's not glitched for everyone. Otherwise we'll ditch missions and just go do something else. But... Hauler is basically used for Road to Riches. Yeah, that is a good little starter ship. Like, yeah, if you do the Road to Riches right when you're getting started out in a hauler, that is, you know, one of the most efficient ways to get yourself 
set up in the in the beginning kind of kind of uh, phase of the league. And rare good trading. Rare good trading I found to be a lot of fun. You know, as you start getting richer and richer, you know, and you're flying around in a beluga, it really becomes kind of pointless because, like, cargo hold, you, like, you don't need a lot of space. Like, you can grab yourself an asp or a cobra and do the rare goods route, and it really doesn't, like, you don't need a lot of space to do it, and you make pretty decent payout. And along the way, you're getting to visit interesting systems, and, um, I don't know, back in the day, there were a lot of really cool, um, like, pirate uh, pirates that would like haunt the rare good routes and you know they were actually like role playing pirates so you would get like cool experiences they weren't just like reefers but the rare goods I think is great for starting out and then it becomes sort of once you start getting into T9 territory like you might as well go mining or um, just like regular trading there's no need to scan me officer I have nothing to find yeah like that's gonna stop them I swear, officer, I'm not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, we'll get out, we'll cash this mission. Just take another look at the board, see if there is a covert one. Because what I really do want to understand is like, is this considered covert, right? If I just rain hellfire on a on a stage from above, will that be considered, you know, stealthy? <laughs> and if it is, then we found we found the loophole, you know. Oh my god, now I just have to like run the entire length of a football field. I mean, look at the size of the landing here. Consider the lilies. Dark heavy saluting NPCs inside the station, but like, look how big the landing gear is compared to your NPC, right? Or your whatever, whatever you call it. Like, that is a, that is a big ass foot. It's a Terry Gillia Monty Python sized foot. Now that would be a great, um, I would pay arcs if you could, if your landing gear made fart noises as they landed <laughs> on the ground. I would pay good money for that. Of course, it probably would be like immersion breaking, but you know what? Who plays this for the immersion? The immersion got broken in Odyssey when everything in the game broke and like all the stations looked the same. I hope that again, they, they kind of, you know, make some improvements there, but... I'm not holding my breath. I'm still I'm enjoying what we have. And I really do like the lighting of this station. Very cool. There's Dark Heavy at the computer. Alright, let's cash this in. Let's see if it's glitched for us. Maybe after we cash it in, Dark Heavy, you'll be able to cash it in. That is a little bit weird that it is not um, working. Yeah, a complete mission. Okay. So what do we want? Do we want just money? Do we want influence? I think I always go for materials because like I'll take the difference in money just to get less grind so that's nice kill Ruby bar Ruby is dead all right we'll just take a quick look at uh, the combat board see if there is any uh, covert uh, we're looking for covert covert yeah, maybe, like, Covert needs to, like, has a bigger chance of spawning in certain places. Or maybe it doesn't distinguish them? Rangwans. And Duncan McDon... <laughs> Duncan Maldondo. I love that name. Yeah, I don't know if it will... Because, like, usually you would see Covert in the title. <coughs> <clears throat> so, okay, we'll do the next... Oh, wait, clean assassination. Oh, no, that's just, like, don't kill anyone else. Surprise... Wait, did we do a... No, the next mission is a clean assassination. So that will make it harder, because we have to kill one specific person with missiles, but not other people. So that will be a challenge. Um, eliminate six administrators of Terror Hawk and Defense. So that's just, like, kill a bunch of people based on their title. I think that's kind of prejudice. It's just like kill the janitor kind of missions. Okay, well let's... Hello. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not my... That's the wrong wheel. Waving at Minari. You can't forget the squat salute. I think no matter what... Um, no matter what emotes they add, the squat will always be my favorite way of... Uh, of greeting people. Okay. So this time, let's go to Dark Heavy's ship. Your ship, I assume, is here. 
So, Minardi, when you get uh, down here, click on the, the boat called Miscellaneous, and we'll take a ride with Dark Heavy in the Chieftain, which is quite a, quite a pretty ship. You forgot the smiley place. Banana ain't no vegetable unless it's green plantains. Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you saying plantains are a vegetable? That's insane. I've never heard of that before. There's Minardi. Okay. Let's join more of this Chieftain. Now, the Chieftain at least has, like... I like how the, the, the docking thing is not, like, in the middle of the ship, so you don't have to walk the entire length of the ship. It is a big frog boy. A very frog-shaped ship. And here's the Arms reverse Armstrong moment. Let's watch Minardi board. Are you not able to get on? What happened? Is it not letting you on? We'll go no seat. Wait, are there only two seats in the Chieftain? Oh, I guess there's only two seats. Well, damn it. I guess we should probably... Where is Dark Heavy? I saw him going to the elevator. Maybe he went to the Beluga. Okay, well, let's take the damn Beluga, and then... I guess, okay, so how about this? Dark Heavy, you go in your ship. I'll take uh, Minarni in the Beluga. And then, um, when we get there, I'll land and do the scouting. And then, Dark Heavy, you do the missile boat. So that at least, um, we can all go there together. Little ship swap in here. I thought the Chieftain had, uh, three seats. That makes it, like, a little bit less desirable. What's up, Raymobula? Oh, seven, sorry. How you do? Apparently, I just found out my, my mind has been blown that apparently plantains are, um, supposedly vegetables. And this is blowing my mind. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah, unfortunately, this giant beluga, my god, it's, like, every time I see it, I am... I am awestruck. I am spellbound. I am flabbergasted. I know, you get, you have to run so far to get onto the Beluga. That's the one huge disadvantage. Now, this area looks like it's supposed to be like a, a ramp that comes down, and I don't know, like, like that's not the SRV bay. The SRV bay is, like, up at the front. So I wonder, like, was that sort of, like, the initial plan was to have, like, the Star Citizen-style ramps that hold your um, stuff in them? I don't know. But I hope that that does happen one day. Like, I would really like to see ship interiors, and I would really love to see, um, uh, like, you know, being able to come out of the ship. So I'm going to share this mission for Eva Wiley so that you guys can have it too. While we're launching, we will pull up the galaxy map and pick the Milseni system. That's where we have to go to kill our target. We're not getting any messages. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, look at that. Our, our reputation is not cordial in Milseni as well. So I guess we did that mission for um, that faction, but now we're probably going to lose our reputation there because we're going to have to go kill some people. Look at that. Getting through the mail slot like a champ. Dark Heavy, man, I can't even see your ship. Oh, because you're far away. I was like, man, that Chieftain is like a stealth boat. Do you think fighters can be used on a planet? So, yeah, but you can't land... Like, once you launch a fighter, I can't land the Beluga. Like, I think we, we can both get out and take... Like, you can take one of my SRVs, I can take another SRV, and we can go um, rip around the facility in, in vehicles. But, yeah, once you launch a ship launch fighter, you're not able to land on the ground, which I think is kind of lame. I think it'd be nice to, like, you know, let's say you're doing, like, a drug deal, and it's like, okay, I'm going to launch my fighter have them cover the skies while I go down there and do this. Like, that would be a cool mechanic, but once you have that fighter launched, um, it's pretty much like, you can't do anything. That said, you know, if we do get, you know, like, the assassination mission, the target's, like, fleeing, then we could, and, the, and they get, oh, Wang Refinery, nice. Um, you know, what, there's so many Wang Refineries in this galaxy. Um, but let's say, okay, so we're going to this place. 2,000 light seconds away. Not too far. Um, but yeah, like, let's say you, um, 
Oh, what's up, Joe? Shmuel from our show. Sh I can't say words today. Shmuel Shmuel Holfer, 07. Welcome to the Decus. Yeah, we're uh, if you're just tuning in, we're doing assassination missions, but a little bit of a slant where the assassin has to be in their ship shooting missiles, and so one person is like the assassin, and then everyone else has to like scout out the facility, draw the target into the open so they can be missiled. Now. For this mission in particular, this is a clean assassination, so we have to actually kill this person without killing anyone. And I assume that means anyone else, right? Um, so, a little bit harder to do when we're peppering them from above with missiles, but let's see if this let's see if we can pull this off. For this one, Dark Heavy will be the assassin, and he will be in his ship, and uh, Minority and I will, will, will have to scout out the target, draw them into the open, identify them for dark heavy we can maybe use the point emote system i don't know if that will mark a target when you're in a ship it is kind of a cool system though because you can see um you can see like who your target is marked which is really cool yeah joe are you back from colonia because you, you were saying yeah like you were going there and back just to pick up some ships i assume you're back at this point because you said you were doing it like in all all in one go which like to me that's that's um that would cause me to like not want to play the game for weeks like long periods of extended travel can be very hard on on me to do like you know like doing an eight hour jump grind sort of if you want to call it that um i always like to split them up into legs and so like that's what i liked about the enigma expedition is that like you know it was over the course of a week and like there's destinations along the way that are like stopping points and you know you get to see some cool tourism you will both die from missiles and the ship will be at the target's base. That's okay. Maybe we won't die. Maybe we'll fi we'll figure out um, a way to survive. We got we to gotta go in with, uh, you know, like, like a plan for the best to prepare for the worst, right? Where will we respawn? Well, I, I assume back at the place where we were, where we can cash in the mission. So if we do die, at least we get um, the satisfaction of payment. And then um, we can wait there and then you can come back. We'll figure it out, don't worry about it. Death is just part of the game. Your missiles are too big. Well, you know what? Maybe the world is too small. That's the problem. Your missiles are the right size. It's just the galaxy, the bubble is just too small. Uh, and apparently you can get to Colonia in a bit over an hour. No way, Budman, I don't believe that. Over an hour? Okay, maybe if you're like doing it perfect, a neutron highway, anaconda with 80, you know, 80 jump speed and jumponium and all that stuff, but an hour? I mean, that's pretty good. If I could do that, I would definitely go there and back for a weekend sort of thing. A weekend in Colonia would be kind of cool. Oh, uh, Joe's saying you got back from Colonia after four days there and back. Just hanging in your squadron home system before you head out on your first exploration. Man, and you're heading out on exploration edition right away again. Hey, you, you love the block. You're out there... Uh, exploring all the goodness of the cosmos. It's been a while. Like, yeah, I haven't done an exploration trip since Enigma. <clears throat> and it'll probably be a while before I want to venture out there. Just because, again, it's like with Odyssey and development, you never know what's going to happen in the bubble. Like, I don't want to be out there in the black and miss a really cool event. So to me, it's always like, yeah, I want to do exploration, but I don't want to miss anything. So I do have a second account. And I was thinking about maybe, do, you know, like that second account is, of course, Bradford, J. Bradford. And uh, he don't have no money right now. So maybe um, what I might do is do an exploration trip with uh, Bradford when I get around to it. But that way, at least, like, my main account will be in the bubble. And honestly, that's not a bad thing. A lot of people do have, uh, you know, two elite accounts. And the second one is kind of, like, there for the purpose of, like, yeah, like... I want one account in the bubble and one account uh, there. Of course, probably no, yeah, no pad large enough for this beast of a ship, but that's fine. Where we're going, we don't need no landing pads. We'll just land on the ground. Okay, we'll just find. There we go. That should do it. Lovely. All right. Let's grab an SRV and let's head out. Now, of course, I did hear that next week, and don't quote me on this, but I believe it's next week, 
there will be a new SRV in the game, a two-seater, which I find very interesting. Let's see, are you, um, Minority, see if you can get an SRV as well. Hopefully we can both get out different SRVs. Wonder how they will appear. Will it appear, or like, am I blocking your zone? It would be kind of cool, though, if, like, the other SRV came out. You could watch it. Who the heck is that? A sidewinder. Back in love. Okay. It says cargo hatch in use. Okay, try now? Because now I'm not blocking her, right? Maybe I have to get further away. If you can't take out one of my SRVs, then yeah, what is the point of having multiple SRVs other than like, you know, rebuy purposes? If it's still not letting you, then just come out on foot, I guess. That's lame. You should be able to both take out an SRV. But okay, we're learning. We're learning about multi crews. So we're looking for Eva Wily. Now, again, the SRV does have the advantage where now you can just, like, scan people like this. Like, you don't even need to find a computer. You can just, like, go from target to target. But let's go find a computer for the sake of, uh, sake of brevity. Getting all those weird, like, the SRV noises sometimes sound like a dying computer. Like, it sounds like your hard drive is on the fritz. I want to be careful not to run over anyone. Like, maybe we'll just randomly run over our target by mistake, but... That's not what we're trying to do here. We want... Oh, great. I'm stuck. Okay, we will just do a vertical extraction. That did the trick. Alright, we are looking for computers. Oh, wow. So these bases really are not designed great for SRVs. I guess that's like, that wasn't the point of them, but there's a computer. Alright, we will get out. Trick to getting Colonia in 60 minutes is to shoot a mega ship and then get sent to prison instantly that's closer to Colonia. No freaking way! What is there like a chain of like. of just like, uh, uh, you know, you can go from prison colony to prison colony? Because that's kind of cool. <laughs> I want to try that. Like the prison the prison transfer system. Okay, so staff list. There we are, Eva, Eva Wiley. Uh, let me just select you. So let's see. It looks like it's a, our target's a researcher. And yeah, they look to be in this building. So we're going to have to get them out of that building. So for that, we're going to need our Maverick suit. Minority, where are you? Are you... Um, running around on foot. You can see, like, Tarek Heavy up in the sky, and I can see a little blue diamond. I think it's a blue diamond. I'll have to do a little quick change in my SRV. Thankfully, I carry my suits no matter where I go. That is kind of a weird thing where, like, yeah, like, no matter... You get into your SRV and take your entire wardrobe <laughs> with you, like... It's, I guess, like, you know, there's the, the sort of... Oh, wait, that is a Maverick suit. Okay. I don't need to change my suit. It just, like, I made it, I put, like, jackets on it so it didn't look like a Maverick suit. Okay. So, Dark Heavy, our target is in this building. I'm going to, oh, they're in the power building, too. Or I guess, like, yeah, the power building and, and residents are all connected. Where did my target go? Oh, I guess when you go in the SRV, you lose your target lock. So, I'll just have to reacquire this. Alright. So we need... And there's Minari. Lurking up here on the top of the building. So we need to shut the oxygen off in this place. Uh, where is that device? There we go. Okay, so Minardi, I'm going to need you to be running point. We do have some NPCs nearby. I don't want them to see what we're up to. Where'd you go? Okay, you, um, go distract that guy. I want you to 
keep him occupied. Keep him occupied so that he doesn't come over here and, and bust me. So just go, like, mess up his day. Yeah, just... Just... just yeah, exactly, exactly. Just keep, keep, him, keep him busy. Okay. We're gonna get in this, this place here. Cutting open these panels. This is, of course, like the oxygen air support system. It's important that we don't injure anyone else. So what we ideally want to do is we want to get our target far away from other NPCs. Okay, here we go. We're depressurizing. And where is our target? Our target is... Okay, so the beehive has now been lit up. Our target seems to be in the power section. They are coming now down the walkway. Or are they? I kind of don't want to be like around the oxygen thing. Plausible deniability sort of reasons. Fortunately, there's no windows on this side. Hello, sir. I didn't do nothing. They're an alert, but like, that's fine. So maybe we can try and help the process out here. Hmm. Yeah, they seem to be in this room. And maybe they don't want to leave. I mean, we just did pull out the oxygen in the building. That should give them plenty of reason to come outside. Come on. Come on. Come on, little baby. One thing we could do is we could try hacking through this door. Or maybe, hold on. They're on the move. Hmm. Oh my god, okay, there's a smorgasbord of people in here. Yeah, we're all, we're all as puzzled as you are. We're trying to find the culprit. Do you guys know, do you guys know who turned off the oxygen? Oh my god, there's like, they're swarming us. So yeah, I don't know. This is this is difficult. One of the what, buildings what else can we do? What else can we do to get them outside? I mean, my thought is one approach is like Dark Heavy could try just like blowing up the walls and see if the explosion will like walk it through. What if we, like, restore the ox oxygen? Let's try restoring the oxygen. Maybe they'll be like, oh, okay. Everything's fine. We can go back to, uh, back to our, our room. Okay, so I don't see anyone in here. I'm going to try to actually open that panel. Yeah, by restoring the oxygen, we have caused all the guards to run away. So now we can open this puppy. Cut, 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 cut. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> that makes a sound every time you step on it. That's funny. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to shock this panel open. And then we'll go back and... Hello. Are you Eva Wiley? Okay. Just 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 stay there for a second. <laughs> Nothing to go on here. Thank you, Benari, for like, yeah, cock blocking the door there. Okay. And then we're gonna head back to the oxygen. Just make sure no one's watching. Excellent. Now let's depressurize again. Let's see if maybe having that door open will kind of like goad this person. Yeah, I don't know, there's something really going on with the oxygen. You should probably leave. If you don't get out of here, then like, you know, there could be problems. Come on, Eva. We need you to go outside. I know that you're guarding the reactor room, but like, there could be like a critical reactor problem. You should probably leave. Maybe these guys are kind of programmed not to leave. That's certainly a possibility. I'm trying to help with the evacuation, sir. Hmm. 
My other thought is too, like, what if I were to shut off the power? Would they be mad at me? I think so. Yeah, I don't think this lady's gonna come out. Okay, well, let's see what we can do to disperse the guards. Hey, guards, I think I saw something suspicious on the other side of the base, far away from here. Do you guys not want to... Oops. I'm going to use an energy I'm going here. I think... Sir, I saw something suspicious. Where are you going, sir? Okay, the other thought is maybe we can use emotes to go them out. It's so like, Eva, I'm going to point at you. Oops. Why do you move? What if I... Is there an icon for, like, move? Go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go away. Go away. What do you want? It's funny, because, actually, once you kind of get these guys all buggered up... Pin you down. Moving up. Wait, what the hell? Um... Right, let's Minardi, it did you, Engage did you do target. something? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> no sign of them here. Yeah, I mean, start blowing stuff up, Dark Ivy, but try Engage. not to, um... Yeah, let me try waving. Hold on. One of the buildings Once you get them atmosphere. all buzzing like a bee, though, um... Honestly, it's kind of cool, because, like... They will not scan you anymore. And hold on, they're all running out now. They're all running out now. Okay, so Dark Heavy, what have you been up to? Don't kill anyone, because we don't want to critically injure any settlement personnel. <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering, like, if I go in here, Eva's going to start shooting me. And maybe what I can do is lure her out. Oh, she's already shooting at me. Yeah, come on, Eva. Oh, God, everyone's shooting at me. Cover me, I gotta um, move. Running, running away, running away, running away. Don't mind me. Health pack, health pack. Maybe they will all chase me out. No, it looks like Eva is not coming out of this building. Okay, so Dark Heavy, let's try plan B. I want you to shoot right here. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Let me get Sherry Hood away from this area because I don't want uh, anyone else getting injured. Aside from myself, I guess. So yeah, Dark Heavy, I want you to shoot the building. Like, right below... Oh, no, wait, hold on. She's in, like, the middle now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna come out. Yeah, so it looks like some assassination missions we just can't do in this, in this sort of fashion. Okay. I have an idea. I mean, Arnie, where did you respawn, by the way? <laughs> oh, you pulled out your gun! That's why they shot you. Because you're not they don't like it when you have your guns. Wow, okay, SRV shields. Oh, you're at land orbital. Okay, so at least you do go back to the um, original place, right? SRV up here on the roof. Oh no! I guess, oh, someone died who failed the mission. Okay, you know what? Now, there's only one thing that I think we can do at this point. Kill everyone. <laughs> I know, rocket launcher, right? Yeah, rocket launcher technically would count as a missile, so I mean... I wouldn't have issues with doing that. Yeah, I guess at this point we might as well just slaughter everyone here. Maria McKay, that's the person who died. It's their fault, honestly, for uh, not being... Uh, like, you know, like, if these guys hadn't started shooting at us... I mean, technically, yeah, we missiled the base. Like, that's... Technically speaking, we started it, but... Okay, you know what? Eva Wiley was our target. I know she's not, like... The missions failed, but I still want to complete it in principle, right? Is it 
Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just going to throw a grenade in here. You know what? Oh, shit, 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 shit! You're, this is all your fault. Okay, where's the other one? I know there's another one in here. You know what? Oh, you're not dead? Get, get, get over here. That's right. Okay, you know what? Just for all the trouble, I'm gonna take the power. Oh, I need level three access. Okay, well, that's fine. I can get it from this target here. So Dark Heavy, you, you keep raining missiles and fire and death from above, and I'll get the power regulator. At least we'll get something out of this. Ooh, and all this wonderful data. We will take data. Oh, shit. Uh, hello. You're not very accurate, are you? <laughs> He's just like shooting like, uh, uh, uh. Like, aim your gun, sir. Anyone else want a piece? And this is my sort of secret agent build, so I, I tried to, like, this is the best I could do for, like, a James Bond sort of look. It's, you know, white jacket, black pants, and only armed with a pistol. That's all you really need. I wouldn't mind a third person. Can you imagine if you had, like, a Mass Effect style view? I mean, technically speaking, yeah, you could, you could do this. And... Yeah, I mean, technically speaking, I could turn this into a third-person shooter. That's kind of cool, actually. It's not really, like, designed as intended, but if it works, it works. It would be just, like, the one thing that I would need would be an aiming reticule. We should try rocket launcher, though. Okay, well, while we are here, we do have our lovely uh, cutter, so we can take some goodies. We'll just make sure to take goodies that are, like, worth getting. Ionized gas, always nice. We'll take the electrical wiring and... Um, nah. You can make a vulture. That'd be cool. I love the vulture. The vulture is a really nice bounty hunting ship. We did that stream for um, Hazrezes, and, man, the vulture was amazing. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it looks like like these missions where we have to like only kill the target. Like, if we could get the target to draw out into the open, no problem. The problem is that yeah, it's a great shot for the videos over the shoulder. Yeah, I, I, I um I'm working on the next video. I did a little bit of test footage last night, um, in between missions. Just to get like the kind of the intro sorted, but also um just shot a little bit of footage, but you know, um, I'm really happy with Odyssey in terms of like video making capabilities. Like, I think it's really up the game. Yeah, Joe, I think I saw your your yeah Colonial 60 minutes. Wait, hold on. Uh, check out today's Galnet news video. Someone discovered accidentally that if you shoot one of the new Colonial Bridge mega ships and it blows you up, you get sent to prison. He discovered the nearest prison was 6,000 light years closer to Colonia than the mega ship that blew him up. Four more prison jumps later, he was in Colonia 60 minutes. So yeah, you're literally just going from prison ship to prison ship. That's pretty cool. But like, wait, why wouldn't you just like, from the first prison ship, just go back? Like, if you shot the prison ship, wouldn't you just spawn inside of it? Like, how do you hop skip to the next one? I'll definitely check it out. It's what, Galnet News video? Is that like, um, is that the, uh, the one with, uh, Beetlejuice? Because I will check that out, because I would like to try it. But yeah, so we failed the mission here, but... Oh, I'm going to have to blow open the door. No big deal. That's what overload is for. And thankfully I've still got my SRV here. Did you kill everyone, by the way, Dark Heavy? Is everyone dead? So yeah, you can see again, my, my capacity is at 100, uh, like zero, so I can't bring any new stuff. We'll just have to leave the electrical wiring behind. It's okay, we have 38 of them anyway, so not a big deal. Of course, this gets really annoying because, like, if you have stuff in your backpack, you can't even use this emergency board without waiting five minutes. That's like calling 911 and then being like, please hold for five minutes while we put you in the queue. Like, kind of defeats the purpose of, like, emergency, you know? Looks like there are still people alive, but, you know, we're not monsters. We don't want to track down and kill everyone. So back to the Beluga, and we'll head uh, back and then maybe get a new set of missions. 
Wouldn't be surprised if all the guards were just here trying to shoot my blue the whole time. You have the blood of your innocence on the hands and no electrical wiring. Well, if you want electrical wiring, just get an anaconda or whatever, because they've got tons of that like hanging out in the cockpit. You can just pull the wires out of the anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, actually, maybe that would be an interesting stream, is get to Colonia and back through the crime and punishment system. The question is, does it work both ways? And then, like, do you have to do ship transfers or anything during that? Like, I wonder how that works. Okay, so back to Jamba Van. Let me just plot in the route. I'll just sit in the ship. I don't care. They can come shoot me if they want. Alright. Undocked. Like, does this thing even have any defenses? Because, like, yeah, it's nothing shooting at me. No missiles. Who's that? Who are you, sir? That is a Diamondback Scout. His name is Pumuckle. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're not leaving. You have been you have been selected for Beluga, uh, Beluga fights. I'm literally stopping this guy from taking off. Oh no wait! He's pushing the beluga! This Diamondback Scout is towing me! Oh my god. I just smashed him to the ground! <laughs> it's called Push the Diamondback Scout Game. Where are you going, sir? Oh my god! Alright. Um, about that. No one saw anything. I didn't get a bounty. No one was murdered. We don't speak of what just happened there. That stays between us. <laughs> that was kind of fun, actually. Just pushing around that poor little ship. You cannot, you cannot fight against the weight and heft of this beluga. <coughs> All right, let's get up to orbit. <laughs> That's so funny. Four point eight million spent your first vulture. Nice. It is a nice little ship. Really fun for bounty hunting. I really enjoy it. Okay, the process explained the Gallant News video. That's great. Okay. Well, we'll check that out. Maybe we could do that and, and see. Yeah, if I could get to Colonian back, like, quickly, then yeah, I'll do that. It would be nice to go there. Um, maybe unlock some engineers and stuff just so that I have them unlocked. Okay, we're going to need to get over the planet a little bit so that we can get there. We'll get back to the station. I think we'll do a bio break and then... Pick up a few more missions. Maybe we'll maybe we'll, we'll try something different. I don't know if you guys have any ideas for how what we, we can modify on this. I definitely love the idea of like yeah like you have to do the assassination from the ship. I think we can do an SRV version. Or or maybe we could do like rocket launcher only combat. That could be fun too. Uh. You, so, Valor, you're saying you've done Canonia to Jackson's in three hours and 43 minutes. I mean, for the traditional way of doing things, that's still super quick, right? Like, four hours, basically, to get from, like, the center of the galaxy to the rim? More than, more than what I could do. Uh, you have to jump halfway to the next prison ship and then shoot a Colonia Bridge mega ship. Okay, so you still have to jump. So, wait, then how do you... Get your ship to come with you. I guess your ship respawns with you if you blow up in your ship. It gets transported with you to the prison ship. I mean, that's kind of a fun way to exploit the terrible crime and punishment system. And I approve any way to exploit that system. Uh, let's see here. Where is the station? Land orbital. Land ho. You'll get there to Colonia, and then they will patch the quick way out of the game. Damn it! <laughs> and then you're stranded. I think, like, a Scorpius is still actually stranded there. Uh, I have no already of one, so we'll hand myself in and jump back during the bio break. Yeah, that, that might be a good way to do it. Yeah, like, that's, that's kind of funny. Like, yeah, like, the unintended consequences of the crime and punishment system layered onto this Colonia Bridge has created, essentially, like, an unintended but quicker way to get there. But is that a bad thing? I mean, I think that should be, like... There should be a mega ship to Colonia that leaves every hour, you get on it, you dock, and then it just like fades you out and you appear in Colonia. Like, who cares? Just let me go back and forth, right? And like, 
if they had that, people could go to Colonia and then come back the same day without pain and suffering, and that might help uh, Colonia become more of a destination. And I love the fact that there's like a second bubble out there that's kind of an emerging bubble. I mean, I haven't been there since Enigma, so I don't know if it's grown or, or what's different. I know it has more engineers now, which is kind of cool. And I know there's people that live out there. Commander Scorpius is still um, stuck out there in Colonia. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I would go to Colonia more often if it was more accessible. It's just like, yeah, like, it is a journey. And then, you know, it's a journey back. And the journey there, not so bad. It's the journey back that really gets me, when you're, especially when you're trying to do it quickly. Uh, you took you 16 hours to get to Colonia in your fleet carrier, 40 hours to do the same in your Anaconda. Yeah, that's a significant difference. And that's even with the fleet carriers having those, like, 15-minute um, timers or whatever. So that's that's a significant bump in time, but still like you know, massive jump gates. Yes, I would love to see like yeah like jump to this region, and maybe yeah you have some one way trip jump gates where you can you know jump start your exploration like jump to Beagle Point and then just work your way back. But having to work all the way out there and then all the way back tends to be um, you know it's such a commitment, right? And I think like you know I could see both sides of it like. If it wasn't a commitment, it wouldn't be as special, but at the same time, it's just like, there's a reason why I don't do these like deep space exploration journeys all the time, because there's no easy way back, right? I guess in theory, yeah, you could just fly into a sun and then rebuy in a sidewinder, lose your ship, <laughs> and uh, get back quickly, and then lose all your exploration data, but like, who wants to do that? You know, by the time you get out there on those long-term exploration ships, you've tagged systems, you know, and discovered an Earth-like that you just don't want to lose, right? I think there's someone else here in the system. I see a hollow dot. Oh, it's Takoso. Can I send you to, um, I'll send you a team invite. And miss the station as a result. So that's also weird that you can't get into an SRV. Like, I don't know, we, we could try the other way and maybe the owner of the ship is the, if someone else gets into an SRV and the owner does it last, maybe you'll be able to have multiple SRVs. But I'd like to do like an SRV thing. I do need to film like a car chase uh, for my next video in SRV, so maybe we could do that after the next attempt. Uh, Chili Buttons, you're saying back in your day you had to pilot your own ships out of Colonia. We didn't have no fancy schmancy taxis to move our other ships. If we wanted a combat ship out there, you had to suffer. Get that FDL there like five lights, light, light years at a time. Oh, believe me, uh, you know, I my first, what was it, Saj A trip was back with an ASP. This was pre-engineering, so an unengineered ASP with a 3A fuel scoop, meaning that like to fill up my tanks, it would take like an hour. Um, so I'd have to stop at every fuel star, star and just sit there forever doing like heat management stuff um and then obviously the engineers came along and you know japonium and neutron stars and the neutron highway and now it's easy it's easy for Attention kids these matter. days but you know original deployed. elite players know when i'm talking about. you've got a notoriety of three how did you do that to so what have you been up to what have you been doing <laughs> Let's just go down to the, uh, the dock. I really think this station's super pretty. I like it. I wish that they had different layouts, though, because they do get really bored of the layout at this point. Uh, there are over a dozen fleet carriers that make the bubble to Colonia run every week at various times of the week. That's kind of cool. Also, like, players have basically had to, once again, fill in for Frontier's ineptitude to create <laughs> workable framework. But that's kind of the coolness of this game, is that, you know players figure out ways like the fuel rods the rock rods like there's all these different like in-game player services where they will help you do things that you know frontier seems to be not interested in in working on and i think that's kind of cool right like that's i think like you know above everything the elite community is what really i think solidified my love for this game oh oh sticky keys hold on Damn it, how do I disable that crappy Windows feature where if you hit the shift key five times, it like takes you out of the game and tries to screw you up. It's like, do you want sticky keys? No, I never say I want sticky keys. Why would you think that this is the one time I want it? Smash it on me, boy. Good to see you again. Hello, Tokino Soldier Element. How you doing? 
So, Crystal, you had a notoriety of 10 last week. Nice. Getting the Vasquez engineer, you have to do stealth missions, so easier to kill everyone. Yeah, true. That's quite, like, notoriety 10. Like, I don't even think I've gotten that far before. Such a pretty little bar. Like, I do really like the lighting in this system. It's so pretty. And the spotlights and everything. Here we got Dark Heavy, but by uh, a sleeper here. This woman has her mouth open. She is drooling. Let's watch her sleep. It's like, have you ever seen, um... Let's <laughs> just play. Hello? Did she just wake up? She's like, what the hell are these people doing? Go back to sleep. Don't. Do we want We're watching you sleep. Oriana Bird. This is like... <laughs> if you ever watched the Tim and Eric skit, the Cinco Sleep Chair. It's just like... Uh, thanks for the show, buddy. Love watching people sleep. What kind of dreams do you think she's having? <laughs> okay, enough weirdness. Let's see if we can get another mission. There's Minari. Let's give you a thumbs up. I freaking love the emotes, man. It's so cool. And Dark Heavy has, has gotten to a fight with Merle Carr. He's dis disagreeing in a political argument. Uh... You did your first exploration run in a hauler, made it all the way out to the Eastern Galactic Edge before turning back? Damn, dude. Yeah, hauler's not a bad exploration ship, though. I mean, if you really strip it down, it's got a decent jump range, so... That's not bad. Um, okay, so let's look again, maybe see if we can find a covert... Ah! Covert assassination! That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, Stein's Command... Oh, this is in the Jamba Van system, so... And it's also illegal, which means this will be the last mission we can do here. <laughs> I'm going to take that. We'll do a quick bio break before we get into it. But Oh, okay. There's another covert takedown. Back in the Milseni system. It's like all you have to do for these covert missions is just not raise the alarm, right? So as long as the alarm doesn't go up, like you can do all the missiles that you want. Man, there's all these covert missions now. So some somehow this mission board just became entirely covert. Okay, we'll take two missions, but let's just find um, something that has maybe an interesting location or reward. Oh, power regulator! Oh, I want, I want, I want, I want. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Okay. So, and look at that. Is that Tacosa? It's so funny when you guys have like the matching splooshy green things, and it's just like, like you can tell these crazy commanders running around. Let me get, let me get a different outfit then. I'll go into my, um, what is it? The Funtime Happy Suit, I think, has. Uh, yeah, Funtime Happy Suit has at least the skeleton look. You can see here. Oops. Yeah, that's a weird thing where it has to, like, change your uniform. So I've got the, the crazy skeleton one. I didn't get the uh, Spluchy, um, Spluchy Thargoid, like, what do you call it? Thargoid... J I got bled on by a Thargoid. But uh, let me just get, I'll get set up here at the bar. I'm looking for someone with a gun to put something right. I'm looking for someone for a gun to put something right. Yeah, I mean, really specific request. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a quick bio break and then we'll get back. Yes, yes, Phil, you inspired me for Beluga, Beluga reasons. Um, but yeah, I'll do a quick bio break. We'll be back in a moment and then we will, um, continue on with these shen shenanigans trying to covertly blow people up with a beluga so i'll be back see you shortly
steady your aim. Is that you? Alrighty, I'm back. Hello. Let me just get rid of that bow brick thing. What's going on in the background? <laughs> Is that Dark Heavy just like doing some couch squats? Are you doing couch squats? I do love that like there's weird, um, you can get up on these things, but it's kind of glitchy. Are we just like, <laughs> like crowding these poor, Poor women trying to have a conversation. Uh, hold on. No, wait. There we go. Free cam. Free the camera. It is kind of fun to just like butt in on these conversations and be annoying. Hello! <laughs> I've had too much sugar today in my cubby. I got the jitters. Oh, oh. Holy crap, I got on the table. <laughs> It's never been done before. <laughs> just like, what the hell? It's like, I got my foot in the candle. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> can I point at this person? I wonder if my hand, I can get my hand through her head. It does look like my knee is kind of like, almost... <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god! Chikosa has gone full table! <laughs> so stupid, I love it. Oh, I fell off the couch. Ah! I do love how you will push the camera, so it's kind of like... You can actually like... Like, I do find that you'll bump the camera. How do you get up there? How'd you get up on that side? Can I just like crouch walk here? No, I guess you gotta get out from the side. But these two poor commanders are just trying to have a drink and enjoy their time together and and then and then we came. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do you mind ma'am? They actually don't seem to mind. That's kinda cool. They're pretty chill. That's nice. Uh, let's just catch up on the chat here. Uh, beer and bio break, yes. And post the link for Discord. Yeah, let me post the, the link if you guys want to join up on the Discord. How the hell do I do this? Hold on. Copy. Paste. If you want to join the Discord, come on. Come on in. Enjoy some dangus. We do, we're doing some, you know, background simulation work and often talking about Elite and stuff. So, you know, if you want to join the Discord, link's in the chat. There. Excuse me. There's a lovely little burp there. Um, lighting makes the ship look dark. I don't know, man. I wasn't a fan of the Vulture. Still not. Okay. The, so the Vulture 
you, what you got to do is you got to put two beam lasers on there, engineer them to maximum efficiency, um, engineer your power plant and stuff like that. And honestly, it is pretty, um, it is a pretty sweet bounty hunting ship. And if you don't have like, if you're using lasers, you don't have to keep going back and reloading your ammo. So you can like bounty hunt forever. And the Vulture is so good at taking on those like larger ships. You can just like obliterate. You can kill a Corvette um, in, a, in a Vulture because it's just so um, cool and powerful and awesome. Um, it definitely is like a specialty ship. Like it's really only good for bounty hunting. I don't know why it has multi-crew. Like that makes absolutely no sense with it because like you're not going to put anything turreted on there, but it's fun to have. Um, and yeah, like, like believe me, I was never really huge on the Vulture until I finally tried bounty hunting. And then it was like, okay, I get it now. Um, and then Joe, you've discovered that ramming ships with a Corvette when they have chafed to break up my gimbal weapons. Hey, ramming ships is absolutely a viable strategy. Um, and then Valor, you said earlier, bridge transport system? What do you call the death taxi idea? <laughs> death taxi. I, yeah, I wonder too, like, if, like, can you taxi to Colonia? Is that possible now with the type of systems they have? I don't know. But, all right, let me, uh, let me share the mission. So which one do we want to do first? I think we want to do the one that has the, um, let's do the one that's not in Gem Event first. Then we'll do Gem Event on the way back. So our target is Cali Sosa. They are in the Miseni A3 system in an agricultural habitat, and we'll get a power regulator for this. So that's a pretty good mission. I'm gonna share that. And then do you guys wanna all pile into the Beluga? And I'll do the missiles and you guys can be the scouts? Hold on, where's, um, is Takoso not in the party? Let me send you a party invite. Oh, you do have a request. You just need to accept it. Accept the request if you want to come, Takoso, if you want to come, at least in my ship. There's Dark Heavy coming to the elevator. Zoom it along. <laughs> and that's cool. You can see all the... Yeah, there's Minari's uh, Vulture there. And the Chieftain is wanted. But we'll head to Free Willy. Without multi-crew in the Vulture, how will I live with my Top Gun Maverick and Goose fantasy? Well, I don't know if you want to... I, I don't... Who wants to be Goose, though? Because then Goose die? <laughs> like... You can have a... Everyone would want to be Maverick, right? Or Iceman. I'd want to be Iceman. That was uh, Val Kilmer in, in uh, Thingy. They are, are they not making, they're making a Top Gun too. And I'm like, 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 it's kind of like, uh, how many years has it been since Top Gun? Like, it's about time. I recently watched the, um, the Jack Reacher movies and I thought it was, decent but i don't think tom cruise was like the right fit for that role it like didn't see i didn't like tom cruise being in it to go to this point net free willy there so we'll just see, see on the, the cockpit so the beluga is one of the the few ships that does have um four seats for multi-crew so you know they did add an extra seat to a number of the smaller uh, sort of the larger ships that now you can have um more commanders in your in your in your cockpit. So we've got Dark Heavy, Mr. Pumpkinhead himself. It's just funny that like yeah, you're in the ship, you don't really need to be wearing that pumpkin head, but it does make you look kinda cool. <laughs> Let's wait for everyone to get on. What are you guys doing down there? Are you able to get on, Tokoso? Here, I'm gonna cancel and wait, what? Is this bugged? I can't cancel your team invite and I can't re-invite you. Um hmm. Reforming team. So let me try this. Yeah, so if that's not working, then I will uh, leave team. Uh, DH8, can you reinvite? 
<laughs> oh god, I can't even spell. Hey, Caplox is on. You're wanted, so you can't board. That shouldn't be a factor. You should be, you should be able to board. Oh, hold on, it's leaving team. I don't know why there's a, why is there a cooldown for that? Like, what is the purpose of that? Were people abusing that by like blazing their own trail? All right, let me do this. Invite, invite, and invite. Okay, that should work. Yeah, I think you just have to be in the team. <coughs> yeah, you have to be like in the team to be able to board the ship, I guess. It shouldn't the wanted status shouldn't matter, like whether you're wanted or not. I don't think that's a factor. Where'd you go? Did like leaving the team disappear you people? Did it kick you out of the hangar? Look at this massive, giant cow of a ship. I do love the cow paint job. It is quite fun. Minardi's got back into the thing. Oh, there's Dark Heavy. Let's see if Tukoso can join. Get everyone in the beluga. Tukoso, you get the team invite? You ch what? You turned myself in. Oh, you turned yourself in? Oh no. Tuned yourself in. Wrong note. I can only write one song over and over. <laughs> Why are you wanted? You didn't write a bad song, did you? Tokoso can't write a bad song. It's physically impossible. I'll send you another invite. It looks like he's now made his way over to the system. So, okay. Tokoso, you can come... I guess catch up. Join us in the uh, the system we're going to, and then we'll, I'll, I'll give you a ride back. So we're heading to the Crucius Sector. Z A D. Wait, no, we're not. We're going to Mil Milliseni. That's where Chikosa is. That's the. Uh, well, that's nice that at least you know the prison ship is just like a block away. All right, we'll head there, and then Chikosa, you can come. Uh, uh, just join the join the group, and then you can um, get our uh, thingy and come join us. But yeah, so this is a covert mission, and we're going to do this the, the way we did it that, that worked the first time. So Minardi and Dark Heavy will get out, and they will scout out the target, uh, try and get them, you know, into an area that the missiles will be able to blow them up, and then we'll, we'll shoot them with our ship. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, just kind of got stuck, but no, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, don't try to, uh, really, don't try to, uh... Am I on anonymous access? Am I wanted? How did I get wanted here? What have I done? Oh, wait, I probably just got a docking plane, that's why. Okay, so we want to do... Not this one, but this one first. Okay. I'm gonna share that away. And we will head to the military system. Wait, where's Minari? Did you not make it on either? Oh no. Okay, we can come with uh, Thingy. My Discord needs a funny pick section. Yeah, not a bad idea, yeah. We can we can do that. We need like a meme channel or something. Yeah, I'm not good at like Discord to be honest. Like Dark Heavy was you know, I will thank Dark Heavy for setting this all up. He was the one who actually built that Discord. And actually I think I remember when we first set it up, there was like some like trying to transfer the ownership. I think we like transferred it back and forth between us until the whole thing just like completely broke. And I don't think anyone owns it anymore. <laughs> or no one knows who owns it. It's like the Discord runs itself now. But um, yeah, we could add channels. I think I can figure that out. But Dark Heavy actually set up this, um, the whole thing, and has really been um, critical for, for, you know, making that thing work and function. Because I'd probably screw it up. We do have a blue thing there. Who is that? Oh, that's Minari's signal. Okay. So he's he's gone here in his own ship. That's wonderful. Okay. So we're going to the Gallardo Agricultural Habitat. And we're looking for Cali Sosa. Like Kaiser Sosa. Kaiser Sosa's uh, cousin. Dank memes. Dank, dank memes. I like the dank memes. 
definitely elite memes always tickle my fancy. There's a great um, subreddit called Eight Dangerous. And sometimes it's pretty low quality memes, but every once in a while they absolutely nail their memes. And the main elite subreddit, like, you know, they don't allow memes there, which is kind of weird. So it's like, um, uh, like, you can't post a lot of memes. Like, every once in a while a meme will get approved there, but, like, the main subreddit, like, it will usually be a good source for, for news, but it's a lot of people being like, yeah, I hit my first elite. Here's a, here's a picture of my ship in the dock. And it's like, they could have just grabbed that off a Google image search. <laughs> like, there's nothing really... I'm like, I guess, like, people want to just, like, hey, I got my thing. And, uh, you know, I'm not, like, against that, but it's kind of like, after you see, like, five million of, like, here's my first elite. you just like, okay. All right. Oh, Loot's posting funny memes in the Discord. That's wonderful. I do like that one, actually. <laughs> I'm a huge original Star Trek fan. I've been watching, um... Netflix, which I love. Um, by the way, if you haven't, if you have Netflix, watch Cowboy Bebop. That was a lot of fun. I really, really, really like that one. Um, but I've been watching original Star Trek, and one thing I've noticed about the original like 60s series Star Trek that I feel like modern TV doesn't do as well. Well, if you're too poor for Netflix, just download it illegally. <laughs> don't tell anyone I told you to do that. I don't want any real life notoriety. But. Um, like, the original Star Trek, the episodes would begin with, like, a bang. Like, it's just, like, the episode kicks in, it's just, like, we were going to this planet, and we were interdicted by an energy thing that's now taking over the Enterprise. Like, it jumps right in. It does not waste any time uh, getting into the action, right? Like, we've landed on this planet, everyone's dead, we gotta beam down to the surface, let's go. Beam down. Like, the first two minutes of every episode is, like, just get right into it, right? And I kind of miss, like... Like, I, 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 to be fair, I haven't really watched this Discovery, Star Trek STD kind of stuff. Um, I got really, like, I watched kind of, like, half of the first season and just got bored. I was like, I don't like this. This isn't, like, the Star Trek thing that I want to see. And I kind of miss, like, how Star Trek was, like, not serialized. Like, yeah, you can have something like TNG where it goes across a season and there's, like, stories, characters that evolve, but... Like, each episode was kind of a self-contained story, and I don't feel like they're doing that as much in the new one. I mean, Picard was, like, a little bit better than STD, but I didn't like it either. I'm like, I, I love Star Trek, but they're not making, like, the Star Trek that I want to see. I want them to make more, like, you know, again, like, cool, like, sci-fi concepts in each episode. Like, I mean, to be fair, like, the original episode, like, you know... TNG, original series, they have a lot of crap episodes. There was one where, like, oh, we found a planet that's exactly like Earth, only they're still... They're in the modern era, but the Roman Empire never stopped. And it's like, you could tell that they wrote that script because someone was like, hey, we have access to, like, this um, set design that's, like, kind of Roman. Do you want to use it for something? Yeah, we'll write an episode. Look at all the food rolls. Um, so there's definitely, like, you know, like, with that like episodic uh, self-contained series you definitely get a lot of um, you know crap episodes but the ones that are good are good and you don't need to watch the crap episodes you can skip the ones where like Beverly Crusher falls in love with a ghost you know you don't need to watch those when you're when you're watching it streaming right you can like that's how I kind of did Deep Space Nine like I never have actually watched Deep Space Nine from from start to finish I just looked up, like, what are the required episodes that, like, tie into the plot. So Dark Heavy is out on the ground. Dark Heavy, you're going to scout out our target, and then we're going to rain hellfire above them from above. Now, this is covert, so we can't let anyone know that we're coming. Such cool uh, shots that we can get now. <laughs> you just walked into a wall. There's a computer right over there if you need. Yeah, this looks like a small settlement, so probably won't have to look too far. Look at that, Dark Heavy's crouch walking over to the computer panel. He's gonna do some hacksing. And I do love that there's no blackout cam. Look out, Dark Heavy, you got a guy coming behind you. Well, okay. 
It's probably not anything to worry about unless you're already wanted. The NPC passes through us like a ghost. What the hell's that noise? Who's flying like that? Alright, so Dark Heavy's gonna seek out our target. He's taking the uh, the route over here. And again, if the target is inside a building, trying to get them out by cutting off the oxygen, it did work the first time, but if they are in the... Um, if they're in like the the uh, uh, what is it called the reactor room, they may not want to come out, and that could be an issue. We'll see. Star Trek: Brave New Worlds will hopefully be better. I agree. I think that one looks like it has the potential for me to like it. Um, I like the guy who plays Pike. I like Captain Pike in general. That has more of a. Where'd you go, Dark I Lost you. Um, definitely, that's one where I'm like, okay. Like, I don't really want to see Star Trek Discovery continue. I don't feel like I'm going to want to jump into it at this point. Um, oh, there he is. He's hiding up on the roof. So maybe our target is in this building. Is that what we're kind of getting from that? Let me get airborne. How much G's in this place? It is... Oh, it's almost a full G. So it's almost Earth Gravities. Uh, hold on. I'm loading. So, Dark Heavy is going to point the way to our target, and it looks like, uh, some people are already on alert. Remember, we need to be covert, so we can't raise the settlement alerts. Oh wait, Kazi- Kali Sosa's already dead! Did we kill her? Where's the body? How did they die? Did she die of a heart attack? Well, I mean, that was easy. Hello. Do you think those people would be a little freaked out? Oh shit, hold on, pod loitering. Uh, okay, I did get a fine. Does that count as alarms raising? Look at all the cool geologicals. Nope, we did not trigger the settlement alarm. Oh my god, 7% hull. Okay, um, just let the shields regenerate. So, how did he die? I mean, I'm, I'm delighted that we've accomplished this mission because we get a power regulator, so let's not fail it, but... Um, okay. Well, does anyone need a pickup? I guess Dark Heavy, you're gonna need a ride back because I brought you here. So let me just get my shields up before I attempt a landing because I know myself too well. And is still on the ground. Okay, we can pick him up as well. All right, boys, come towards the Beluga. I will land for you as soon as my shields are back. I don't, how did they die though? Did you guys kill her? Or did she, like, maybe she, yeah, maybe she just died of natural causes. We will take credit though. Okay, shields are back. We are landed. So yeah, you guys can come, come, uh. Is that Jacosa running away? Uh oh, he's got a rocket launcher. Wait a minute, the base alarms are on. I see them flashing. It says, do not trigger the settlement alarm, but like, even though the settlement alarm is triggered, it's not really doing anything. Okay, so where's, where's, where are you guys? Here comes Dark Heavy. Again, these seats are actually really great for like, being able to find a commander, because <laughs> you stand out a lot. <laughs> so we can go over there and help uh, Tukoso out. I think he's like, approach behind a rock there. He's under fire, but we can come rescue him. We'll just wait for Dark Heavy to appear in the ship. And then we'll go pick up Tokoso. Save him from uh save him from his uh firefight. There's a little battle mini battle going on over there. Where's Dark Heavy? Is he down there? I don't see him. Are you on the ship? Oh, there you are. Very good. Okay, it looks like Tokoso needs some help. We'll just go and land on these people. Cover me! I gotta go! 
Okay. Is that? I think I'm stuck on something. Hold on. Landing gear up, landing gear down. Still weapons, eh? Still weapons out. Okay, maybe I did. I didn't mean to. Okay, Tugoso, don't let me, uh... I don't want to blow you up. Let's just land so we can let him join. Although, I keep getting stuck on the damn, uh... Ground here. There we go. Mission failed! Oh no! What happened? I guess the alarms finally did kick in. Oh well. Alright, Tikozo, you can jump on board here. Where'd he go? Are you on the vulture? Shields are down, hold on. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. 4% hull. Boost, 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 boost. Okay, hopefully, did we get to Koso? Yeah, there he is, there he is. We're all good, we're all good. Flying in a beluga, 4% hull. Life is dangus. Alright, well, we failed that mission, so let's do the other one. Why can't I share this one? Discard. Share mission. Okay. Well, that's okay. Everyone just started shooting me. I don't know why. I did see you shooting a rocket at them. I don't know if they started first. <laughs> that might have been why. <laughs> but honestly, NPCs can be really, um, you know, they can just be in a crappy mood. They're kind of, they're kind of just like random like that. There's no rhyme or reason. When you're an NPC, you don't need to explain yourself. You don't even have a crime and punishment system in the NPC world. Okay, 4% haul, that's more than we need. Oh my god, look at all the pips that we have for multi-crew. I guess with the new, you know, four-player multi-crew, that's three extra pips, which is kind of cool. <coughs> Tukoso Haxard his shuttle rooting system. Yeah, that's cool. The original had such cool music. Yeah, I agree. Like, I love the music in the original one. Um... Star Trek Brave New Worlds, yeah, I already read that one. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, that's the one Star Trek where I'm kind of like, I have hope that that will bring it back to the original format of, like, let's explore the galaxy, and then we'll find weird shit along the way. I also didn't mind, like, the plot of Voyager in terms of, like, yeah, we're stranded out here. If I had to say, like, okay, like, Picard, I had, like, an idea for what it could have been. And I think it would, and, and I love, like, okay, like, in Picard, it would have been, like, the Enterprise D is like a museum, or I guess the guys the D blew up. So like whatever the last one that didn't blow up was is now like a museum ship, kind of like Battlestar Galactica, where it's like an old thing, and he's like got to fly it, and then something happens, and they get warped to the Delta Quadrant, and it's like yeah, the, now they've jumped back. Something like that would have been cool, but this whole like what it turned out to be was a little bit lame. Maybe they will have a better season two, but I'm like it's still like I just want to like see a Star Trek show where it's, again, self-contained episodes and, like, cool sci-fi concepts, right? You know, and then you're gonna do the obligatory, like, oops, we got Freaky Friday in the transporter, and now, like, Picard is in Data's body, and Data's in Picard's body, and it's gonna be a weird episode where, you know, and I, I, I thought those were, were fun episodes. They're never, like, my favorite Star Trek episodes, but... You know, I don't think any Star Trek plot should be more than a two-parter before it moves on to, like, a new cool concept, right? Um, yeah, I know, made February 25th now. Oh, that's for the Elite meet? Yeah. I was kind of like, okay, that's a little bit weird. Um, that, like, okay, like, we're delaying it because of the Omnicron variant, but we're just going to move it, like, two or three months out where it's, like, like the virus is just going to go away by then. Like, it's been two years of COVID. Like, <laughs> at this point, I'm assuming that, like, you know, we just have to kind of deal with it, right? It's been really, um, it's been a really tough couple of years, I think, for a lot of people, myself included, man. And just, like, the isolationism of quarantine and all that stuff. It started out pretty productive, but as, you know, things go on, it's just like, I, I, I'm excited that I'm going to a concert next weekend on Friday. 
it's the first concert I've been to since like literally the day before the lockdown started and I have missed concerts so much and live music and I'm just so excited to get back out but at the same time a little bit paranoid <laughs> like I'm certainly like you know I got vaccinated and everything but you know there are variants out there and it's still you know you want to do everything to be safe and you know I, I don't get the whole like anti-vaccine people thing and even I know a few of them like there's a guy I know that like went and got like fake vaccination proof so that he could go to bars and drink and I'm like mm-hmm yeah <laughs> people are doing that right and I'm like just get the freaking vaccine I don't know it's like uh, it's an, it's untested I'm like millions of people have got it <laughs> it's just what you should do but anyway it's uh it could end sooner and I'd be happier but it's all depending on the science right like I will trust the science that I don't myself understand I will trust the majority and consensus of doctors and whatever I won't trust the damn governments because they they're, they're gonna screw it up and they just want votes and shit but you know if a doctor like you know when I wanted to get my vaccine they're like which one do you want I'm like whichever you would recommend I don't know enough about that to like make a reliable decision like I'll probably pick the bad one <laughs> but you know it is what it is and you know I think like at least like there are concerts now starting again there are like at least one concert in December I'm gonna go see and then there's a few coming up in March um, that I, I'll, I'll that you know the good ones are starting to come back to town but you know it's uh it's been a long haul I feel bad for the live music industry in particular because now like even that there's been so many years of like no concerts everything's gonna be backed up and you know prices are gonna be insane and it's gonna be harder for bands to like recover and, you know for a lot of like bands you know they really need to like you know they need friggin um uh, live shows to make a living right live shows are fun so damn it just give me more music um she saw a photo of Spatula 006. Who's that? Um, <laughs> she was so shocked she died crying. Poor thing was really hoping for Spatula 007. <laughs> uh, I'm doing three things at the same time. Killing NPCs uh, for credits to buy tritium. Wait, what? You're killing NPCs for credits to buy tritium. Okay. While gathering engineering materials. Yeah, I guess that's a triple whammy. Well, this is kind of an interesting planet with, like some mountainous hilly type terrain uh based on the music i'd say look behind you ah why what's behind me what's behind me well there's a musician uh i'd be more convinced about to get the vaccine if it actually worked but it doesn't seem to be oh yeah that's a, again it's like i'm not an expert but like i guess there is like a shelf life like like there's a, 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 a certain period of time where it's like super efficient and then it drops off but i would assume that if you got it once like there are probably some permanent effects right i don't know i mean i got definitely like sick the second time for like a day um, after taking it but I, it made me feel safer you know i don't feel so bad going to the grocery store it's like okay it reduces the odds of you catching it and if you do catch it it reduces the odds that you'll be hospitalized right it's not there's no like you're never gonna get sick situation but you know, it's not a be-all, end-all solution, but it's probably better than nothing. I don't know. Again, I just, you know, I'm telling everyone to go do it. You need to do it here in Canada. Like, you can't go to see a movie in a cinema, or you can't go indoor dining unless you show proof of vaccination. So it's kind of like, well, you might as well, right? And I get that there are definitely some people out there who, for many reasons, could not get it. And that's like, it sucks for that, right? But... It is uh, AZ here. I can see people's underwears, but not something I wanted. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Sorry, what? <laughs> are, you, are you looking at my underwear? You got the Pfizer? Yeah, you did not get magnetic forces. So that's the thing. Yeah, I did test that where after um, getting vaccinated, I went and then just ate a bunch of magnets. Um, and nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Um, okay, so let's... Um, well, let's just do this one. We cannot trigger this, the alarm, so let's just do this one the old-fashioned way. Let's just go in on, on foot. Because my blue is at 4%. I don't want to... 
I'm gonna die. It's a very expensive rebuy. Okay, so let's. Here's a computer. That's gonna make things life easy. I've actually never seen this little type of building before. Hold on. It's like a little upstairs area and a balcony. Oh, this is nice. It's a nice little cozy shack. I like it. There's like a shady. Like, I can hide under the stairs. Lure the target here. Come on, surprise me. But all right, let's find our target. You think your game glitched? It is glitchy today, Minari. There is some weird shit going on in Odyssey World. I don't know what they did, but... All right, Ulysses Porter, he's a security guy. Where is... Uh, Tukosho in the gang? There he is. It's up on the roof. Okay, so it looks like our target is in the command center, which means we are going to need to get in there. Oh, hi. Hi, Commando. I'm just going to approach and move out of your field of vision. I'm just going to sneak this way. We're actually not wanted here, so I don't think these guys will bother us, but they're not going to be happy when they find out what we're doing here. Oh, you've had uh, COVID and recovered, Budman? Yeah, I mean, like, this is the thing, too. It's like, you know, the odds are most people, if you're not in the vulnerable things, you know, it'll just be like a really, really bad flu, but I'd rather just not get it if I don't, if I have to, if I can avoid it, right? Okay, I'm going to steal this person's profile. Don't want them to see my illegal tool. Where the hell are they? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm just stealing your identity. Excellent. Okay, where's the gang? I can probably open the door here. There you are. <laughs> Up there on the roof. Okay, come on in. I'll let everyone in. Come down here, guys. We can get, we can get inside now. Oh, there's the target right there. Where you guys at? Come on down. I don't want to get scanned. You guys just hanging out on the roof? I'm holding the door for ya. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. We're too close to that. Where you go? Alright, you'll have to get your own profile. Alright, so you usually see this is heading off this way. Hello. Hey. Hello, sir. Hold on, Commander. Oh, drop the profile. Drop the profile. Clearing the profile. Let's let's Commander get clear here. Get going. I think I'm gonna just like zap him. Watch yourself. Let's just wait for that witness to leave. Julissa, if you just Hey, Dark Heavy, can you, uh, uh, just, like, distract that one? Yeah, just keep her distracted. Just keep her pointed that way. No, no, no. Uh, just make her look the other way. Okay, whatever, she's gone. Back up. I'm warning you. Stow that device. No, he's dead. Okay, no settlement alarms can trigger. That's fine. She can go ahead and scan me. We don't want to trigger them alarms. Some goodies in there if you want to steal them, but I don't want to get it down here. Let's just fill up with some energy here. Okay, why don't we coordinate? Dark Heavy, let's coordinate like a, a little... Like, you shoot your target, I'll shoot mine. Yeah, you shoot this lady, I'll go shoot this lady. We're going to do it on 3-2-1. Uh, and go! Okay, let's storm the base. We can't let the alarms go off, but that doesn't mean like if we kill everyone, no alarms will be had. I will end you. Nope, no alarms. Sir. I cannot have alarms. Okay, we need to take a profile here. So I think the key here is I gotta get in and disable the alarms so that the alarms cannot go off. 
Oh shit, I think the alarm just went off. Damn it! I was so close to finding the alarm control panel. Okay, that was my bad. I kind of just went on a murder rampage there. <laughs> uh, target acquired! Uh, uh, I won't go down so easy! Uh, uh. I won't go down so easy, she says. Okay, this is where the alarm must be. I will disable them now. You know what? Let's just loot this place. Let's get all the data. Prisoner logs, weapon inventory, I'll take that stuff. Oh, hi! Oh, I'm almost dead. Wow. Oh, get. Uh, oh, damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Storm the base for science. Yeah, Tukos was like, I'll stay out as I'm wanted. It didn't really matter in the end, did it? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, I would love to go to that uh, elite meet, though. Like, it's just obviously, like, the Atlantic Ocean is kind of a barrier to entry for that. But next year, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely going to be planning to do some travel once, like... You know, this whole thing kind of dies down. Like, with, with a, a new variant coming out every couple weeks, it does feel like, a, you know, it feels like a, a Disney Marvel show lineup, you know what I mean? But I kind of want to wait till it's like, okay, like, international travel is good to go again. I don't want to, like, do undo risk. Like, I don't know if I'm being a little bit paranoid about it, because, like, again, I'm not really in a risk group, but it's better safe than sorry, right? You don't get no rebuy in real life. Isn't that right, ma'am? She agrees with me. Uh, I'm probably, I probably lost my beluga. Oh, damn it. Well, yeah, at least I didn't rebuy. Is my beluga still going to be at 4% hollow? <laughs> like to go. So, all the way to the puppet sector. Wow, okay. I thought the crime ship was closer. Uh, but okay, we'll head back to Jamba Van. But I guess we'll meet up at the bar, and then I'll probably cap off the stream at this point. But, you know, we did find that it is possible to do an assassination mission without actually getting out of your ship just by using missiles in a fun way. Wait, there's no contact menu to let you dock, Sakao. Is that because you're wanted? Like, you, you, it's anonymous protocols? I feel bad for killing those people there. I feel like I could have just left and left everyone alive and I would be alive, but it was kind of fun. Wait, you can't dock. Wait, okay, Minari, check your sensors, okay? Because sometimes when you don't see the menu to contact, it's because your power management, like your sensors might have shut off. So change your power priorities on your sensors. Because if like your sensors can't pick up the station, it won't be able to request docking. Oh my god, I just hit the landing for I, I didn't realize I was in a taxi. <laughs> oh, so it's not, like, sensor issues? Because, like, even if you're wanted, you should be able to um, dock, but, like, what'll happen is, like, your, your, um, if your sensors have got no power, then you, you will not be able to see the station, and therefore it won't show up in contacts. Or it's a glitch. Like, that, again... Honestly, he's doing some weird shit today. I don't know what they've done, but it's, like, weird. Oh, hold on, I'm just reading. If you take all the blood vessels out of the human and, and lie them in a straight line, the human will die. Thank you, Lude, for the scientific, <laughs> scientifically accurate information. <laughs> they will die. That makes sense. And what's up, Reese, Tarad, 07, and sup, Commanders? Commanders, even, tax, even Apex Taxi Drivers. We like that too. Yeah, I love this uh, Tokoso song in the background. It's the uh, Don't You Fall Like the Berlin Wall. It was part of the Dying in the in the 80s uh, series. And just such a like riveting tune. And Reese, Tokoso's working on a new lead album. I don't know when it's gonna be launched, but it's it's phenomenal. It's more excellent Tokoso stuff. If you haven't heard his first elite album. Definitely look in the description of this video and you will find a link to his SoundCloud. And he's done some awesome, awesome elite music. And there's more to come. 
stay tuned for information on that. As soon as Tokosa has got like a release date and all that stuff, we'll definitely do what we can to get the word out because it's gonna be awesome. Your vulture did overpower budget. Ah, yeah, there you go. See, that's the, that's the one thing I discovered was like, yeah, <clears throat> I, I would get um, shot up and like someone would shoot my power distributor. All of a sudden, I have no power, and I can't dock with a station to get repairs because like. Oh, I don't have power for my sensors. But if you change your priorities, then you'll hopefully be able to see the station again and then ask for permission. Uh, and Joe, you accidentally press the shield cell bank button instead of the 50% throttle button. Yeah, and then you start overheating, and if you don't have heat sinks, it's like, ah. Oh. Uh, your vulture did overpower. Oh, yeah, sorry, I read that one already. I feel like I turn my head to read the chat. It's like all the way over on the on the other monitor. But okay, we'll head back. And maybe I don't know. Let's do one more thing before we close off the stream. I'm thinking just like like head somewhere where we can do some SRV stuff. Discovered Delam. Drive charging. The lamb. The lamb burger. I love lamb burgers. I love lamb. Lamb is quite good though. It's like it's like beef, but it's even better. What up, Plater? How you doing? Oh, seven. You left us to die. I'm sorry, Dark Heavy. I okay. Technically, I didn't leave you to die. I died and then left you to die by being dead already. So I mean, in a sense, we all died together, just at different times. <laughs> I didn't mean to die. It's just like I didn't expect eight dudes to come all into the room I was trying to steal data in. It just so happened. I don't know. I feel like we should do one more covert and then let's all bring our ships and then all come out in SRVs and let's try to do a covert assassination from from like the truck. Oh, everyone died. Wow, did you guys like you guys were still fighting that whole time on the base? Awesome. You guys put up a good stand though. I remember the Alamo. Do you remember the Alamo? I actually have no idea what the hell the Alamo is about. <laughs> I remember to remember the Alamo, but I don't know what it's like some American history thing. I think the Alamo was a um, chain of ice cream, ice cream parlors that uh, closed in the, in the late 1830s, and people were quite fond of them. At least that's the history I've made up in my in my mind. I'm in! Yay! But already docked. See, yeah, it's it's uh, like that's a weird, that's a kind of a cool thing that if your if your sensor is run out of power, you can't even detect the station to ask for docking permission like that's kind of a cool thing but they don't tell you that explicitly anywhere so it, it does become a case of like wait what <laughs> oh that's a thing oh wow i remember when i discovered that the first time yeah i thought i was just like oh i guess my sensors are broken <clears throat> but yeah it's power power priorities people this one weird thing in like you know this game that you can't access in text account, so I can't show you. But like, power priorities actually are quite important, especially in the smaller ships where you are, you know, like you, you know, you can always overcharge your power plant and then just never have to worry about power. But if you're at let's say like 99% power used of 100%, and someone you know let's say shoot a, shoots a missile at you and damages your power plant, your power capacity will actually go down, and now things start to you know stop working. And if you haven't set your power priorities, um, you know, the things that can stop working might be your FSD, your shield, your your weapons, right? I prefer to put my life support as like super low priority. So if anything's gonna go out, kill the life support, that's fine. Then I'll have like seven minutes to figure out my strategy, right? But it, it, it's amazing. Cause like, yeah, you don't wanna be in the middle of combat setting your power priorities. So I remember Yamix did a video like ages ago uh, it was like one of them collab videos and it was like rules of elite or like top tips or something like that and the one that i put forward was like power priorities because i'm like it's something that people always forget about but you know if you're in the middle of combat and you know someone knocks out a little bit of your power and your cargo bay suddenly opens and all your limpets or your or the cargo that you've been storing just like flies out taxi from penal colony yeah i just did it myself it's not too bad it's three jumps now, are we still wanted here? Because I'm like, yeah, like, if you go to prison, does that clear your bounties? Okay, it doesn't look like I'm wanted here, which is great. At least, like, that's a positive thing. 
Uh, Mexico versus Texas Republic. Yeah, I don't know, man. I want to go to Mexico. That would be a cool place to go. I've never been to Mexico, but I really, really like Mexican food. And I'm like, I imagine that Mexican food is probably even better in Mexico, so I just want to go there and get some huevos rancheros. Man. And wait, what is my tax do? Okay, I was like, please start turning soon. <laughs> when they boost and then just make a straight beeline for the station, it's a little unsettling. Um, covert grenade assassination. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do rocket launchers and grenades, like explosives only. <laughs> let's do one more. Okay, I do, I do want to do one more. Um, after the 700 hour game time. You know what's amazing is, yeah, I let me see. What do I have in Steam for Elite? Um, how much game time have I played? Uh, I am currently at, and this is not inclusive because there is a second account that doesn't run through Steam. And uh, I had Elite before Steam, so this is inclusive, but about 3,000 hours. 2,918 um, um, playtime hours in Elite for me. And that's not inclusive of before it was on Steam, because I remember when they got onto Steam, I had to like transfer it, and then my second account. So I'd probably say like somewhere around 3,100 hours in a game, which is probably the largest or the longest that I've ever played any game. Um, and yet, I still discover things on a routine basis, mainly because I have a learning disability. <laughs> and I don't pay attention. Someone will explain something to me and then I forget about it, right? I'm very uh, forgetful. Um, but I, I love the fact that the game is that deep, that you can still learn things about it, um, even after 3,000 hours. Um, ever seen the movie 300? Uh, 300? The Alamo is the same thing, but for Texas. So you're saying all these Greek Spartans uh, attack Texas? <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. But no, I, I do like the, the movie 300. I think it's just like unabashed, uh, you know, male uh, machoism distilled to like, you know, almost the point where it's like, you know, it's like a little ridiculous, but it's a fun movie if you don't take it too seriously. Like, I like, there were some cool like visuals and stuff. Oh, Minari needs an invite. Let's get you one. Let's do a little invite in here. It's all different in this UI and it's so confusing. There you go, I should get an invite there. So yeah, unfortunately we failed both of those missions because, uh, naturally, uh, <laughs> That's just what happens when you fly Dengus, but uh, failure is actually an opportunity for a learning experience. So I don't like, I'm not mad when I fail. I'm actually like happy because I've learned something. Um, and actually I just want to see, I do really want power regulators. So let's see if there's any power regulator. Oh, kill Aria Estes uh, in Milsony again. Man, those Milsony people, they must really hate me because they just keep going back and killing people. But let's do that one. Maybe if there's one more power regulator, that would be worth doing. Or a covert. Is there any coverts? There is a covert. Do we want to do another covert one? Because we're probably going to fail that. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm trying to be realistic, but... Eh, eh, I kind of want to do it. Yeah, why not? We'll do two more missions. But we'll only use rocket launchers. So, okay. So, while you guys are taxiing back, I guess this is a good time for me to... Just respect my loadout here to make it more explosive. Wondering, still wondering where that dead hooker came from, Spatula. I swear to God, it was there when I bought the ship. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> okay, which one is the rocket launcher? This one, Karma L6. Of course, I do love the uh, ridiculous Halloween cosmetics. I wish. You, can you not spin your character on the screen? Yeah, there you go. Just a beautiful skeleton pumpkin man. Um, th they should allow for low tier life support. There is not a point for different tiers of it if you can't change. It's either A or D. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I guess the point that you're making is kind of like, if you if you don't have either A rated or D rated life support, what are you doing with your life? Because there's literally no point for B. And I kind of agree with that on a lot of modules where there's like literally a very obvious choice and outside of that, like, what are you doing? Why did you put, like, why would you put B level life support to make it harder to blow up, I guess, like more integrity, but like, is it enough integrity to survive a missile onslaught from pack hounds? Probably not. I don't know. It just like, it does feel kind of like there are a lot of pointless options. 
um, in terms of like outfitting that you just like it's like with the right mind whatever go with this middling option right but you know at the same time you know it doesn't offend me that they exist in the game it's just you know it's just there right um yeah covert rocket launchers i think that's cool let's do that so everyone get back to uh wherever the hell we are land orbital in the jambalaya system or whatever the <laughs> jambo jambo what hold on i'll check it on the map jamba van jamba van yeah jam and vans we sell jam out of our vans uh don't even sweat it commander um it's always an ad the advanced uh, because local version of the fod is not necessarily catered to your taste you there's a lot of abbreviations there and i'm i'm dumb and i don't understand <laughs> you just cracked 11 weeks in the game and you bought it january 2020 wow okay you're you're motoring and look i'm i'm, I'm definitely like slowed down um like the amount that i play uh, you know post kind of like the odyssey rush or whatever but you know part of the reason i'm doing that is you know i want to give them time to kind of update things a little bit further and then you know kind of keep it fresh in my mind right hello hello i love when they wave back so yeah i mean like like for me it's just like yeah i, I like to um preserve now the amount i'm playing and I feel like we're at a rocky stage in, 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 in development of this game to the point where I'm like, like, I think there's some cool features that I enjoyed when they launched. I don't really hey. enjoy them all that much at the moment. But with future iterations, I know they're going to, you know, hit it at the park eventually. So it's like, okay, I want to wait till, uh, wait till they get a little bit better there. Oh, and shit, hold on. Where's my damn beluga? I got to get my ship here. Yeah, because it's still on the planet at 4% hull, naturally. Welcome, it is wonderful. Can you Let's help me with my beluga? We can have one of our pilots pick it up. Yeah. $42,000 just to move the ship over here. It'll take five minutes. That's okay. That'll give everyone time to get here. Then we can try Rocket Squad. Rocket Stealth Rocket Squad. No one will see us coming until they hear the explosions. Um. I'm clean. This time I'll do the flushy thing. Okay, so you can flush the people out. Near the dock in the taxi. Uh, if you take out power, do alarms still get raised? So yeah, I think they do. Because um, really, to take out the power... Well, I mean, technically, if you get in the generator room and kill the people in there stealthily, you... I don't know. I think once you start taking the power down, it might raise the alarms. Or at least people will start swarming. But I mean... In theory, what you can do is you can steal some identities, do the covert thing, get and find the alarm panel. If you disable the alarm panel, they can't raise the alarms. So that's like the proper way to do it is just to stealth around, disable the alarms, and then do whatever bad stuff that you want to do to people, right? In this case, though, again, we're trying to like just play around with different ways of being covert, but not really covert, right? Um, the new planets in life are good additions too if you're in the black. Yeah, I think like I love the um, the idea of behind exploration. Oh look, it looks like everyone's here. All these ships are here. Hello. Let's go so running in. I love how commanders are just like, we don't waste time walking, we just run everywhere like madmen. Um, but yeah, I do like I do love like the new low atmosphere planets. I love like like the scanning of funguses and stuff like that. Like, I love all that gameplay. Um, I'm just waving. Um, next thing I get is probably a fleet carrier, but I'm not sure about the cost. Yeah, honestly, the cost, the refueling of it, the, you know, to me, like, I'm not really, I don't really have a long-term plan to ever get a fleet carrier unless they can kind of just get rid of maintenance. I think maintenance to me is the big, like, ooh, that scares me off. Even though, like, yeah, you could grind for a day and probably pay for a for? year but i don't know I, I just don't agree with the maintenance thing i don't think that's a fun mechanic i don't want a game to ever feel like work and the fact that you you know yeah okay i can prepay for 10 years cool but i don't really want to okay my beluga's taking forever to get here why don't we just go in other people's ships if everyone's here i guess who wants 
Who wants to be my taxi? Tukos is over, saluted by the elevators. Thumbs up, like the Terminator. Okay, I will maybe go with, uh... We've got a nice little medium-sized fleet here, and everyone's wanted. I love that. <laughs> How come Minari is, like, orange wanted, but Dark Heavy and Tikosa are red wanted? Does that mean, like, wanted in this... Wait, what happened? This is also, like, what's the point of having four elevators if as soon as one commander uses one elevator, no one else can use the elevator? That's a little weird. I guess it's, like, a team thing. Um, all right, well, let me go... Okay, well, I guess I go into Tikosa's ship because everyone else left me. That's fine. I'll go in, uh... Yeah, I know Commander Cook's pants are on fire. He's got the... Like, it's such a cool skin, and it's so bright, you can see it, um, anywhere, right? Alright, Tukos, I'm going in your ship. I do like the Crate Phantom. I think it is one of the sexiest booties. I absolutely love that, uh, sort of, like, uni engine. It's very Millennium Falcon. And the little, you know, station that if we had ship interiors, you could sit out there. Yeah, I love the way the Phantom looks. It's one of my favorites. Access denied? What? Access denied? I never got that before. Are we in the same party? We're in the same party. Do you have your ship set to not allow me on there? Okay, I've never seen that before, to be honest. What do? Or maybe it's because you have to be in the ship. Maybe you have to go in first? Look at that Armstrong. <laughs> it just disappears. Yeah, cannot board. Access denied. I've never... I, what happened? <clears throat> yeah, where did the other ships go? Like, like I said, it's doing some weird stuff right now. I don't know. Odyssey's having a, a conniption. A little... little, um, little. It's having a little bit of a moment. Maybe they added something secretly like uh, Raxla 2. And uh, that screwed up everything. Uh, oops. Yeah, my escape key just fell off my keyboard. Okay, I don't know why I can't get onto your ship, but uh, I guess that's the thing. Like, it would be nice if it would say why my access is denied, but, uh, you know. All right, well, my ship just got here, so I guess I'll take the beluga. All right, well, I'll go in our own ships. That That's probably better because, like, if we want to get out in SRVs and stuff like that, like, apparently you can not do that in multi-crew. Again, just like, you know, that's my problem with Elite is there's a lot of really cool ideas, but they don't flow well together. They don't connect the dots. You know, like, the Odyssey content is separate from the Horizons content, which is separate from the regular content. And things like multi-crew can't be combined with wings, though... I kind of... I don't know, Tukosa, how you let me in. It's probably glitched. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just take Beluga. Free Willy. It's the Matrix, man. Something's weird in this, man. The devs are, at, are doing some weird experiments, man. My god. Every time I see this Beluga, I'm just like, where's the ship? Where's the ship? Oh, no, wait. That's not the roof. That's the ship. Uh, share mission. Yes, good idea. Let me get in my ship first. Yeah, even, like, before I was streaming when I was getting ready and Dark Heavy messaged me in-game, and I tried to respond to them in this comm system, and it, like, wouldn't let me. Like, I was like, okay, I can hide... Like, this is all clumsy, whatever. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Like, if I... Like... Like... Ah! <laughs> okay. It's very frustrating. And it's just, like little things that they could be tweaking but i guess you know they're bigger fish to fry right now odyssey was kind of a rough launch their stocks stonks are tumbling you know it's 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 um certainly okay so let me get rid of that i don't want to look at that failure so which one do we want to do let's do the one in jambamin first so i'll share this mission and what we have to do is we have to kill a guy named john cook He's at Cranfeld boarding site. So that is, let's see here. Oh, it's actually very close to us. Uh, right over here. I don't know what a boarding site is. Should be an interesting facility. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. 
Uh, you've had your fleet carrier for three weeks now, so just turning in your combat bonds and exploration data has made more than the maintenance cost. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I get that, like, it's actually not that bad when you start doing the math. It's just, to me, like, I don't like the concept. And I'm kind of one of those weirdo consumers where, like, if you really piss me off, I will boycott the shit out of it, and I stay true to my boycotts. Um, if you know the, the sandwich uh, place, uh, Subway, I did not eat at Subway for years and years and years, and I still don't because it's just not that good. But, like, I didn't eat there because they had the Subway Club, which is like a stamp program where, like, every time you bought a sub, you got a stamp. And they discontinued that, and I had a full cart of stamps, and they would not honor my, my stamps. And I said, you know what? I won't eat your damn Subway sandwiches because you won't honor the damn stamps anymore. And, like, for, like, eight years, they did not get a single dollar from me because of the stamp program. That's just how I am with shit. There's like a cable company that screwed me over on a billing and I'll never give them my money. Even if I have to go to a competitor and pay like five bucks more, I'd rather do that than like work with like a company that I don't like. Oh shit, I'm still at 4% haul. Um, okay, we'll just have to be very careful, which is basically me in a nutshell, right? Alas, you're going to need to take off at the top hour. Oh, no worries. If you have a date with uh, Mrs. Valor, go enjoy that date. You can always watch the rest of the stream later or or not. But, um, yeah, I think well, after these missions, we'll, we'll definitely wrap up. But I'm just enjoying some Odyssey today. Having some fun. Well, this looks like a neat little dark gray shiny ball. I'm liking the look of this. That is some crazy ejecta lines there on that crater. Whatever uh, landed there really took a chunk out of this planet. And enjoy the day. You don't eat at Subway because they don't use butter? They don't use butter. What the hell do they use? I mean, to be honest, I don't eat there anymore because their subs are just shit. Um, it's not really that good of food. It's not healthy for you. And their mascot, Jared, was like a pedophile. So there's not really a lot going on in favor of that particular sandwich depository, right? But, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, like I'm pretty like stern on my boycotts. I, I, I stick with them for a long time. Can you land with 4% haul? Do you have no faith in Michikoso? I can do it. I can do anything if I put my mind to it. Or I'll blow up and then just, like, <laughs> the stream will end in complete disaster. But, hey, either way, doesn't matter, have fun. Alright, heading down to Cranfield boarding site. Looks like Tecoso might have gone into wing signal mode. Again, we might be getting some weird instancing. Elite is being some very weird today. I don't like it when it does these weird things, but uh, nothing that I can do about it other than just accept it. Though so next week I'm debating, I'm thinking about doing Star Citizen next year. Uh, next thingy. What did you say there, Minari? I don't have meat ears? What are meat ears? What? What? <laughs> All ears are made of meat, aren't they? Alright, so again, 4% uh, hull. Uh, careful, 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 careful. Okay, I guess we're gonna go on this side of the base. Block landing pads. Very bad, very bad. So, okay, make sure you guys have rocket launches equipped. Oh, I just gotta fly. Damn it. Okay, maybe we'll be able to land over here. Okay, I think I'm stuck on a building. I think the beluga is so big that if you get close to a building, you're in a restricted area because like part of the ship is like inside. Oh, saw a little bit of beacon of hope there. Oh, yeah, hold on. Here we go. There we go. See, I landed and nobody died. All right, so this is uh, assassination, and you must use rocket launchers. So we'll get your rocket launchers ready. Reese, it sounds like me with Bethesda and Rockstar plus Cinemax and Take Two. Yeah, you know, I didn't do Epic because I got pissed off over Epic's like policies of just like making games go exclusive so that I couldn't buy them on Steam even though I pre-ordered them. So I don't have Epic. I will sacrifice my ability to get free games just for my principles. 
And, um, what was the other one? It's like, you play and all that sort of crap. I get really pissed off at their... Like, if you make me download your launcher, I, I get why you want me to, but no, I won't do it. I hate, like, all these companies with their own launchers, and it's just like, is this really, like, good for consumers? But do I have to have a launcher for every single different game? Be part of your damn ecosphere. I'm going to take that graphene. I always swipe graphene. Yeah, so, like, I don't like Blizzard as a company, especially in, in light of some recent stuff where, like, like so many damn video game companies, they just have this terrible culture of harassment. But I do really like Diablo. <laughs> Uh, like StarCraft is a good one. Like that, you know. Again, it sucks when the games are good and you're just like the company's shit. It's like Riot Games as well. Like I really like that League of Legends show that they just put out. Um, but like again, another company where it's just like the way that they've treated people is just not good. But it's kind of like you know you like uh, a movie that has Kevin Spacey in it and Kevin Spacey is like the weird creepy sex pervert, but still a good actor right and it's, it always becomes hard where you're trying to separate like the performance or like the the thing from you know the terrible person right of all the places in the galaxy you should what hi all right so where's the where's the gang have you guys landed this is one of the tourist facilities which are always i love the look of this i love this type of bar cedric Bryan, excuse me are you the bartender what do you want? can i take this no nope, that's illegal i won't touch that Hold on, can I come back here? You got a med kit. Hey! Do you mind if I just grab a med kit? I hurt my thumb. Anyway. Alright, so it looks like our target is over here. Oh, are they even in the building or are they outside the building? No, I think they're in here. So, Rocket Squad, you gotta get, get on here, and I think what we'll do is try and. Oh, what the hell? Is there another layer to this, or are they just in this room? I think they're in here. I think so. I'll wait for everyone to get here, and then we can all use our rockets at once. I see you on the radar. Some people in SRVs, I believe. I can see my beluga outside the window, and it's like, oh wow, a giant mountain that's like shaped like a cow, but no, that is lo and behold, the beluga is just that big. <laughs> oh my god. Andrew Vanderstock, this is why I dusted off my Cobra Mark III and the game engineered the heck out of it. Lands anywhere. You know what? It, the Cobra Mark III is a wonderful ship for many, many reasons, but I totally agree that like when you're doing Odyssey missions, the small ships are just so much easier to work with. You don't have to worry about landing and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, you know, again, it's it's more viable to get from place to place. They usually can be spec for better jump ranges and whatnot. So, <clears throat> a lot of reasons when you're doing, like, these ground missions to go with a smaller ship. But, you know, in, in Dengus world, we, we do things to make things more difficult for ourselves. So, oh shit, he wants to scan me. Am I wanted? Hold on, am I wanted? I don't think so. Hold on. I'm just going to check you out. I'm just gonna check you out, he says. You know what I'm gonna do? But that warning you, stow that device. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to do your job. I didn't want to do that, but you made me because you provoked me. Thankfully, no one else is around here, so I no one got found out. Are you guys outside in like SRVs running around? Where is everyone? I see like meters from the target is something. Is someone already in there? Well, oh shoot, I have my dominator seat on. I need to go get a, a panel hacking thing. I mean, I could try to just steal someone's access identity, but that's also probably likely going to get me shot at, so... I can just change my clothing. Because, you know, you bring your clothing wherever you go. I got some sort of suitcase in my suit that has... Oh, wait. No, there is no um, thingy here. Like, there's no loadouts. So, yeah, I do have to steal someone's access. Well, all I need is level one. 
so uh, if I can just like very quickly take yours. Oh shit. Seashaw, Seashaw, um, okay, plan B. Kill everyone! <laughs> oh wait, don't trigger the alarm. That's a, that's a criteria. Which means everyone must die. Uh. Okay, are there any alarms nearby? Oh shit. Yeah, we just failed the objective, but you know what? Um, I still like to- I don't want to leave a mission undone. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, Tukos is like, I'm not wanted, so I don't want to go with your triggering alarms. Well, um, I guess you don't need to worry about that no more. Oh no. <laughs> Directly hit him with the missile. Grenade you. Alright, I still want to kill the target because... Oh wait, where the hell did they go? Am I on the wrong floor? Yeah, there they are. Hello, John Cook. I may have failed the mission, but I will still teach you a lesson. And hopefully, I don't know, I think I hurt, I hurt your coastal shields there a little bit. Who's shooting? <laughs> this is terrible, like the, over, the level of overkill on this. Actually, I think I need ammo. Where is ammo? I saw ammo. Oh, we got guys here. I'm out of grenades, though. And I'm out of ammo. Uh oh. Oh, God! I didn't put my shields up! <laughs> okay, blow those people up for me. Damn it! Damn it, I did it again. Alright, well, that's a fail. Thankfully, that was like. Okay, that was the one mission that didn't have a power regulator attached to it, so. Okay, we can still do the other one. We'll finish off there. We'll try to do this one properly. To actually, like, not fail. <sighs> Back to the Master of Courage. I love the way they name these, like, prison ships, too. Like, the Master of Courage. The, the Spear of Orion. Like, they're all so epic. But it's like, really, it's just, like, a prison ship. At least my frame rates improve on these prison ships. So yeah, again, my beluga is probably stranded out there. Okay, so I'm just going to book it to the next... Um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Loot's got an F for prepared. Let's wait to stay on top of that one, loot. I know it's been a while for you, but... Uh, we aim to satisfy. Okay, so I'm going to take a taxi directly to the next place. I'll share the mission on the way. Calvo Agricultural Forum. So we'll all meet up at the next place. Finish this mission. We'll try and do this one properly. And then... Oh no, Minari died as well. Are you gonna come to prison with me, Minari? Is that where you're gonna spawn? If only we could share taxis too, that'd be fun. Unfortunately, yeah, the taxis are uh, uh, simple, uh, simple adders. Not meant for group transportation. All right, let's get in there. Oh, you're on your ship. Nine million rebuy. What? Wow, that's a lot. You must have a pretty good spec'd out ship then. Alright, well, why can't I share this mission? You can only share one of your missions with your team. You can only share, you sh can share one of your missions. Okay, so why can't I share it? Uh... Did I break it? What's that? Why can't I share the mission? Do you guys still have the mission? Can everyone ditch the previous mission? Hmm. So yeah, this one does have a power regulator goal. Thankfully, there's no condition about raising the alarm, so like we don't have to worry about that. It's not covert. Oh god. Oh god. That scared me a little bit. Sometimes these taxis, I tell you, I don't trust their driving. Like, here we are, like, probably, like, we should be overheating as hell right now. 57%. That close to the start, though? Oh, it's not a team mission, but, like, it shouldn't matter, should it? 
Like, are, oh, are there actually, like, missions you can't share? I thought that, like, with Odyssey missions, every mission was essentially, like, a team mission if you share it. I've not encountered a mission that's, like, shareable. My assumption here is that maybe, like, the previous mission is still active in some way. Because I've been not... I've not seen another mission where I couldn't share it. Oh my god, look at all these fines. What is my total bounty at right now? Oh, notoriety too. That's lovely. Where does it tell you that? Uh, Galaxy-wide bounty, 165k. Actually, not too bad. And galaxy-wide fines of 300k. So, really, like, you know, that's not that bad. Considering all the shenanigans I get up to, look, I do pay the time. I do pay the fines. Like, I'm not a serial criminal. I just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So that might... Maybe Tecosa was still in that shared mission. Yeah, everyone go into your missions, and if you have the previous one that's still there, um, get rid of it, and then maybe I'll be able to share... Because you can only... Like, the thing is, like, you can only share one at a time. Which is stupid. I don't like that. Uh, I can shoot Conda... Uh, sorry, the thing is, like, I'm having trouble reading this because, like, it's, like, blurry and shaky in, in here. Uh, I can shoot Condas as missiles. Money is nothing to be... <laughs> you can shoot Anacondas as missiles. I just don't like to be blown up. Nine million is a big number. Would you blink an eye for, this, for a stick of gum? That's true. Expensiveness it all depends on really how much you have your bank account. For me, I'm, I, you know, my bank account keeps going down because all I do is fail missions for, for fun. So it's like, eh. If you don't have a ship, just take a taxi to the destination. So this is Valor is in the zone for spinning. So she asked me if we could postpone digging out of the tree for a few minutes. Oh, all right, honey. She's in the zone for spinning. Is she like on an exercise bike with one of the spinners? Or she's just like sitting in an office chair spinning <laughs> and getting making herself dizzy. Which I do from time to time. It's like, why is being dizzy sometimes fun? Like it's kinda of, it makes me nauseous. Why can't I share this mission? This is ridiculous. I want to share my missions with my crew. <laughs> but honestly, like, do you ever just sit in an office chair and spin? I do remember one time this is ages ago when I was a child. Um, where are we heading? We're heading to Milsony. Uh, and the location is locked out of my computer because the computer can't work when we're in jungle. Uh, we're heading to Calvo Agricultural Farm, which is on Milsony A7F. So in terms of the map, it is the first gas giant with rings, or well, Largest gas giant with springs that comes first. Seventh moon. And uh, Calvo Agricultural on the equatorial axis. I'd really like to share the mission. I don't know if this is bugged, but definitely, guys, make sure to check your, your transactions. If you still have the previous mission that shows has failed, um, abandon it. And then hopefully, by the time we get there, I can uh, do this. Oh, spinning yarn! Right on. Spinning some yarn. Like, we're spinning, uh, spinning a record. Uh, she's she a DJ, too? Spinning, spinning tunes. Share again. Okay, let me try. Yeah, it's still grayed out. That's weird. Not sure if glitch, or if in working as intended. As usual. Oh no! <laughs> Dark and poor Dark He's like, yeah, it's okay, guys. You ran off and left me as the last man standing. I'm hiding out in a crevasse, bleeding out, waiting for a taxi. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Can someone help Dark Heavy? I can, I can come and try and pick you up in a taxi, but then, like, I actually can't do that because taxis only support one person. Is my beluga still there? You can take it. It's a 4% haul, so don't, don't bump it, but you can have it if you want. 
You got your SRV stuck on a life light post and died. <laughs> it's amazing sometimes what will kill you in this game. Lampposts, they are sometimes deadly, sometimes dangus. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I can't share this mission. That's really dumb. I'm upset. We'll see if you guys if you guys are at a station. Try and find a mission that's at Calvo Agricultural Farm. Maybe we'll get two birds, one stone. Or tell you what, we can kill this guy um, and then uh, turn off the power and one of you guys can take a power regulator. Because those are just like the most annoying grind because... You know, if you find them in the wild, there's, there's, okay, so there's three ways to get a power regulator. One is through mission rewards. You can only get one at a time that way, but that's usually the clearest way to get them, other than the second way, which is going to any facility and just, you know, getting access to the power room and literally just taking it from a facility and powering it down, which again is a lot of risk. It can take a long time and you can only get one, right? You can then get, you know, a mission for a power regulator to, like, assassinate a target or massacre someone, and then take that facility's power regulator, get two for one go. That's the most efficient, but that's kind of got the RNG thing, because you need to find a mission that has a power regulator reward, and then, you know, obviously pick up the power regulator there. And then the third way is as a random loot thing. So if you find, like, a busted SRV or a busted ship, um, there is a chance that you can open up a panel and either you get a deactivated power regulator, which is essentially useless, or you can get a power regulator. But that's, again, RNG, right? So it's like most of them either rely on RNG or it's like you only have really the ability to get them one at a time. And then when you start getting into the suit upgrades, like a grade five suit, just the upgrade from grade four to five is like 25 power regulators. So you have to do that 25 times. That's a big grind. Thanks, Frontier, for the grind. It is what it is, but um, it certainly, like, it has put me off upgrading suits just by the, the amount of time. Like, I'm not going to try to do it. I'm just going to do my thing, collect power regulators whenever I can, and then obviously at some point or another um, be able to upgrade them, even if it's, like, one at a time. Uh, there's team missions, has the team logo, and non-team missions has no logo. High danger missions have a skull emblem. The more you know. So I guess, yeah, this, I guess this isn't a team love mission. I didn't realize that. Well, it's something to keep an eye out for. Again, 3,000 hours in the game, I still learn something every time I play. Shows how deep it goes. Yeah, so to go, so yeah, you can go to Anarchy Systems and just kill everyone, raid base after base after base. That is probably the best way to get power regulators and not, um, you know, rack up a giant galactic bounty, right? Oh shit, what suit am I in? Uh, hold on. Yeah, it's the Dominator suit with the rocket launcher because I got the skeleton. I love how I can look down at my feet and realize what, what clothes I'm wearing. Do you remember when games you would look down and you would just, there was nothing there? Like when adding, like, oh wow, I can see my feet, like that was a feature? Okay, so we do have to kill Aria Estes. It's not a covert mission, so we can just cause mayhem and muck and not care about it. But the stakes here are for a power regulator, which would be really nice to get. We'll steal this guy's identity. Alvin Cunningham. I am now you. Do you want to scan me, sir? Do you want to scan me? 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 Hello? Don't you want to scan me? Out of the way. Don't you want to scan me? You don't want to scan me? Really? Usually they're all gung ho to scan me. Oh well. what you got <laughs> all right well oh you need level two access I thought I could just get in there like, damn it I wonder am I able also can I, s I cannot switch suits from these monitors can I no so I can't get my cutter tool so I will have to rely on on this 
Our Anarchy system is really declining in number, Reese says. Yes, that's what I keep hearing is that, like, as that becomes, like, the de facto power regulator grind, uh, the BGS influence has caused a lot of the Anarchy systems to then become in decline. Or at least, like, I guess, like, you go to an Anarchy system and all the bases are powered down and abandoned or whatever, right? So, definitely it's been kind of like, yeah, an issue. I, of course, am trying to get an Anarchy faction into the game. Dangus Investigations is Anarchy in terms of, like, yeah, like, that's what kind of government I would run if I was running a government. <laughs> do what you want. Blaze your own trail, buddy. But, um, yeah, like, like, apparently it's, like, quite a difficult faction to maintain, and, uh... There have certainly been some uh, comments about that, about like uh, anarchy becoming harder and harder to find, right? Okay, let me use the computer to find our target here. Uh, who are we looking for? Aria Estes. Where are you at? Over this way. No, oh, right there. Yoink. Nobody saw nothing. Oh, conveniently, our target is just all the way over here by their lonesome. Oh, look at that! They're going up on the roof! Where nobody can see them. Wonderful. Well. <laughs> Aria Estes, you have been chosen for elimination! And now let's just stand by the corpse and see if anyone comes to investigate. Anyone hear that? Hello. Is anyone coming? I see flashlights. Because I imagine the rocket launcher has got to make a pretty big boom. Oh shit, how do they know? How do you know it was me? Okay, uh, reloading. Behind cover, 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 cover. Did that not kill him? Rocket jump! I do love these little like rocket puddles or whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a we got a plasma boy here. Might as well take the opportunity to reload. I don't know what that guy, what, what business that guy had, this researcher. He's like, I have, I have a gun. I can help. Take out that sharpshooter. And actually, we are out of ammo. Okay, cool. Did I see a skimmer shooting at me? Oh, there he is. And there he's not. Sentry skimmers, of course, are not very, uh, not very intimidating. But alright, I guess we'll go in here and kill some scientists. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just no witnesses. You saw me. You saw my face. Who shoot me? You. Oh, I should have just shot those things and blown her up. That would have been fun. And here's some ammo. There we go. Now I can reload my rocket launcher. No looting. One day I hope you'll be going through those dark corridors and they add a surprise, aka Thargoid. Oh my god. Though that will be when really I think like people will be wowed with Odyssey. Because I think right now it's kinda like, yeah, it's alright, but if you, yeah, were in the middle of, you know, looting a base and all of a sudden the Thargoids descend from above, oh my god. How cool would that be? Oops. I'm just gonna take all of these things. Who opened that door? Is there someone in here? Hello? Let's just throw a grenade. Let's see what happens. Oh! Do you want to open the door, sir? If you could just kindly open that door, sir. Oh, he did, but it's a smart bugger waiting for me to reload. I tell you, man, sometimes these AIs really do surprise me. Got a present for you. How long can you hold this down without it exploding? I guess forever, right? Hello, Mr. Scientist Man. DE, I know you want to open the door. Uh oh. Did 
That grenade did not go fully. Hello. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for opening the door. Oh my. Oh my. Um, are you okay, sir? Ah! I think we've killed the Elastic Man. The that, that, that that's really funny. <laughs> Dynamic box physics. Where are you? Oh, didn't see you there. Where did his body go? Did it get blasted inside the building? <laughs> oh, I can, I can just. This is amazing. Like, this is one of my favorite things in games, is just... I love when games break in funny, funny ways. Like, the fact that this man is being stretched inside a pillar. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see you. Let's see you extend. I want to see your body extend. Is that Dark Heavy? Or that's Takosa. Takosa's just like, uh, what? <laughs> this poor man. His body is just being mutilated by this pillar. And it is kind of like, yeah, when you're dealing with explosives and you're blowing people up around doorways, you will get this effect quite a lot. But yeah, I think everyone's dead. Oh, wait, my error is low. Hold on. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Why won't you open? Uh, power, power, power. Okay, okay. I was like, what the hell? Why am I running out of oxygen? Oh, I'm running out of power. Do I not have a fake profile? I have a level one profile, so why won't this door open? Maybe my rockets blew it up. All right, well, let's maybe see if we can help this man uh, rest in peace. Huh, yeah, I don't think he's ever getting out of there. Yeah, that's weird. I guess like uh, the rocket effect is now, <laughs> like we made it worse. Oh my God. Yeah, I wish there was looting bodies, actually. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, look, but the door's working again. That's great. Son of a bitch. Really? Really, door? Ah! I got in. Thought you could keep me out. But yeah, that's kind of fun when you get the uh, the effect of... Uh, <laughs> like the rocket, sort of like, like the crater or whatever. Let's try one more, see if we can... See if we can glitch this guy out of the wall. Put him on Reddit. Yeah, I know, right? This would be a good one to just record a little bit of. Just do that. Get a little shot of him. <laughs> I don't know why, but this makes me laugh so much. It's just like it's a little, little leg kicking up in the air. That's so funny. Can I get a face face shot? He's got his eyes closed. Because he's dead. <laughs> I just love how he's kicking his leg up in the air. Oh, this poor man is stuck. Like, you can't respawn from there. It feels bad. <laughs> and then the weird texture thing that's going on here. I just don't know, like, what the hell is going on. <laughs> Takoso's face just looks like... What? The way the legs are kicking around, I think that just like really, really makes me amused. All right, well, before I run out of power and oxygen again, I guess um, I came here in taxi, so. Oh, you know what? Let's take the power regulator. Let's do it. Let's raid. Um, I do need more access though, so are there any good corpses to loot here? That's fine, I got another energy cell. If, uh, 
if you have a bolt cutter, that would also be very nice. We could get in this. Oh, we have zero to get in here. Yeah, we need access level three to get through here. Yeah, Minari, if you could come, uh, or Tukosa, if you have a bolt cutter, Minari, I think, has one. If you could come in here and give us access to the power, then uh, whoever wants to hit the power regulator, I'll get one from the mission so you guys can get one for yourselves. Oh, you can get in there? Oh, damn it. Hey, Tukosa, let me in there. I only have level one access. Where you go? Don't leave me. Oh, here's some power. Precious energy cells. I will take those. Yeah, I guess if there is a corpse... Yeah, Minari, if you go into the uh, the power um, segment, just maybe unlock that. I will meander around and see if I can find uh, a level 3 access corpse. Hello! Whee! Do we just high-five in midair? That actually would be pretty cool. This guy is still going. Yeah, I remember I killed some people around here. Here. Or at least I thought I did. I know that one corpse did completely disappear into the wall, so... There was someone I killed in there. Okay, maybe it's worth checking that out. It would be odd if there were, like, no level 3 people at all in the base. Oh, here's your corpse. You just fell through the wall landed on the ground. Wonderful. Uh, where did this corpse go? There was a corpse here. I was like, this is where you see the blood dripping off the ceiling and look up and it's an alien. Um, yeah, okay. Apparently that corpse just disappeared. So yeah, I guess we're going to have to, if we want the power cell, we're going to have to get it the old-fashioned way. What is up with this door not working half the time? Okay, that's really weird. I'll go and shock it. Oh, no wonder my power keeps running out because of the damn, uh, I've got, uh, uh shields on. <laughs> Alright, you're shutting down the power? Nice. Okay. Yeah, one of you guys can take the power regulator, whoever needs it more. I'll get one through the mission, so that's cool. Let me just shock these doors open for you, because these will, um, if you take out the power, these doors will actually no longer function. Oh, that's already overloaded. Okay. Let me power myself up then, before the base shuts down. Anything good here? Micro super capacitors, micro electrodes. Ooh, building schematics. I wonder what these building schematics are for. Like, is that some sort of hint at maybe potential future base building? Possibly? It's certainly, like, you know, I wouldn't discount it. I'll take this stuff. Inertia canister. I don't know what these do. Compression lift wide gas. I think some of that is good for, um, uh, weapon upgrades. That's weird, because I don't have access to this panel. I can't even see what the progress is on this thing. It's, again, like, these computers in the future have weird uh, privacy screens. Uh, my target was a level 3, right? No, it actually was only a level 1. Surprisingly. Uh, power screen is dead to me. Can't turn it off. Oh, here's the level 3 right there. I will uh, collect your profile and identity as part of my collection. This poor lady too, like, look at the position she died in. Like, like basically snapped her own neck when she fell over. In fact, yeah, we didn't shoot her, she, we found her like this. She was long dead. I mean, it's not, like, I, I assume Minari, it's, it's, it is shutting off, right? Oh wait, no it wasn't! You gotta click that thing to make it shut down, you know? That's cool. Now this thing will pop out, and then one of you guys can grab your own power regulator. At least at least we'll all at least two out of three of us will get a nice little mission 
And then where the heck is Dark Heavy? It's like, meanwhile, in the, meanwhile elsewhere in the bubble, Dark Heavy's just running away from 17 guys. Ah! What the hell? Can we get up on this? I wish there was, like, a little perch in here that I could, like, hide on. Like Batman style. And meanwhile, at Beagle Point. <laughs> so how did I get here? What happened? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, though, if there was something you could do? You, like, pissed off the wrong uh, Mafia Lord, and all of a sudden you wake up at Beagle Point, and you don't have a ship, and it's just like, what do I do? <laughs> Okay, you shoot a missile, I'll try and shoot your missile with my missile. Oh, I don't have ammo, damn it. Is there ammo nearby? Ammo should be over here. But I don't see... Okay, hold on. You can use the radar. The upper left, you can see those little lightning bolts that look like Harry Potter are... Uh, that is your power. Power stations. Ammo will show up as a little ammo thing. Which you can see here. Again, this guy's still... Oh shoot, I'm still recording. <laughs> That's gonna be a 14 gigabyte file. Uh, there is ammo in here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Again, another hot tip is when you uh, don't have your weapon loaded, it's good to reload, and then you can get more ammo. So that it doesn't explode on me when I'm not expecting. Also, another hot tip is you run faster when you have your weapon down. Go figure. I'm assuming everyone here is dead, by the way, because we haven't, you know. <laughs> red barrels are awesome. Every game should have red barrels. Power center shut down in 30 seconds. 30 seconds to power shut down. I do kind of like the mechanic of this this power shutdown and sort of um, how it has to be coordinated. I do wish there was just a little bit more to it, but I think it's pretty cool. Ten seconds to power shutdown. <laughs> well, honestly, these dead bodies, you feel bad for them, but then it's like, it's also pretty funny. Power center shutdown complete. So another thing is, uh, if you shut down the power, if you hold the door open, when the power shuts down, it won't close, which is kind of cool. Honestly, I get really, really creeped out by how these um, power facilities look. Yeah, someone take that power regulator. I'm not going to take it. You guys, you guys can take it, because I get a mission reward for it. Let's all point at it. Nice. Okay. All right. Let us. What the hell was that? Oh God! You were you were walking inside of me, and I saw your like shoulder thing through my face. And wow, the stream has gone so long that the music has actually hit the end of the playlist. Bases creep me out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go on this Python. Uh, I'll go with you, Minari. You can take me back to the station. We'll cash this in, and then I uh, will uh, shut down the stream because it is time for me to eat. I'm getting hungry. It is dinner time. I wish rocket jumping was a real thing. So I probably could just like rocket jump my way back. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that actually scared the piss out of me. I jumped a little bit in real life. All right. I wish you could just walk up these damn stairs. Oh yeah, wonderful. Yeah, whatever. I'll just probably have graphene or something in there, but it's gone. Whatever. Hello. Oh, the old Python. Feels weird to be sitting on this side of the ship though, considering that yeah, the Python is um, a weird sort of lefty cockpit where the pilot sits on that side. So being multi-crew in the Python, it's definitely like an odd feeling. But Python is still my favorite ship. 
I think the cockpit is a beautiful, like, simple one. Like, I think I like the crate cockpit better, but the Python is just, you know, a beautiful, wonderful, all-around ship. It's got a nice, sort of triangular, diamond-shaped... I like Mima Pythons. See, look at this. WinCon 1, right? This is the weird shit that I keep seeing in this, where I'm like, there's something going on here. Uh-oh. I'm getting blue tunneled. Braben tunnel. Uh-oh. See, like, also the HUD, it seems to be, like, off sync with the ship. There's some weird shit going on. I'm telling you, Braben is going to blow up the whole damn universe. That's what he's preparing for. They've they've uploaded Raxla, and it is screwed up with everything. Maybe they've added, like, another galaxy. But I don't know. I think I'm going to get Braben tunneled here. So yeah, this is the unfortunate reality where multi-crew is still a little bit glitchy. It's not 100% stable. But maybe it'll work? Yeah, like I can't even access any of the menus. The only thing I can basically do is look around. But who knows what will happen. Will it kick me? And, you know, if it does kick me, where will I respawn when I log in? These are questions. These are questions that run through my mind all the time. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think we've been streaming for, like, what? Uh, almost four hours. Like, three and a half hours. And this is the first time we've hit a, a game-breaking crash. We've definitely had some, like, bugs and glitches and stuff like that. But, yeah, I see something just popped in the chat, but I can't see it. I don't know what's going on, though. Uh, Joe's saying there in the chat, um, I like to set records for speed to vaporize an eagle. Three. Those are fun things to blow up. Wait, what the hell? What's going on? Yeah, I'm getting more WinCon 1 messages. Weird countdowns. Ambient audio. And thank you, Valor, for, for, for joining on the stream. Yeah, stream every uh, Saturday for Elite. Although next week, I don't know. I might, I might um, want to try um, Star Citizen. This has been a really long time since I've done Star Citizen. I think it would be fun to revisit, Four. see how it's come three. along. Okay, four, three. This is so weird. Let me out of this Brayman tunnel. What does that computer say, by the way? Finding angle vector. Please wait. Angle set to max. DeLacy signature detected. Confirmed. I'm stuck in orbit. Uh-oh. Yeah, imagine like imagine you, you re-log and then you just find yourself in the middle of space without the ship there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm debating next week. I might do Star Citizen, which I want to try and show you guys what's going on there but i realize a lot of you guys don't have star citizen or haven't played it in a while or whatever so like you know it's like i also want to do things we can do together but Four, star citizen might be three. what is going on with the countdowns we're getting anxiety from that um but i also you know like in in terms of elite yeah there's a few things that i want to do i saw ghost draft last week did some eva stuff where like you can menu log um, like if you basically go get shot up by a geyser into orbit, you can then menu log while you're up there. And when you log back in, you have actually full freedom of movement and you don't seem that affected by gravity. So you can, you know, do some fun EVA stuff. Um, definitely want to try that, but I don't know. I might, uh, cause like, I don't want to uh, wait too long and then like it get, gets glitched out. I want to do a stream where we just scale buildings. Like there's a bunch of stuff I want to do in elite, but I kind of want to try Star Citizen. Okay, I'm going to try actually menu logging. Because I think this Braven Tunnel is permanent. Apparently you are in danger. So apparently that Braven Tunnel is dangerous. Yeah, I think, I think like, like also I haven't done Star Citizen in a really long time. And I think it'd be fun to see me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> that can always be fun to see. Uh, okay. So let's try relogging. <clears throat> Where will it place me? Will it be back at the facility that we just like blew up and depowered? Will it be in the middle of space? 
Will it be back on Minari's ship? Nope. Back on the ground. Damn it. Is everyone still dead too? No, there are people here again. So even though we just stole their power regulator. Alright, fine, I'll just order a taxi. Uh no, not local, sorry. Long range. The mighty Braben Tunnel. No one can defeat the Braben Tunnel. The Braben Tunnel is will win every time. Okay, so back to Jamba Van. Just to cash this mission in. And then we'll uh we'll shut her down so I can get some food in my belly. Four thousand six hundred bucks for a taxi. It's a little bit much. No, I almost made it. No. That's okay. I'll take a taxi just because I don't want to get another Braven tunnel. Just make your way back to land orbital, or you know, if yeah, just like I guess you guys don't have the mission to cash in, right? Where be my shuttle? Yeah, a taxi's almost here. It'll be fine. Race me there. These taxis um, do seem to have the, know their way around the galaxy. They can get there pretty quick. Do 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 do. Jeffrey Gaines. Got the Gaines. Let me in. Nope, nope. I resupplied. All right, here we go. The mighty Braven Tunnel. It's like a single salt crystal. What? What does that mean? The Braven Braven Tunnel? Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. I like this guy's voice. What's your name? What's your name, sir? You can find your taxi information over here. Jeffrey Gaines. He passed the exam on the 27th of March, 3301. So he's a experienced veteran. I like how your pilot's license is just your name and like when you pass the exam. <laughs> There's like no other identifying numbers or anything like that. Uh, would get to you, but I don't seem to be able to let you on board. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that either. Like, if, the, if there is a multi crew setting or something. It's a guy who's going to be playing some hardcore Diablo next week. That's cool. I've been meaning to get the Diablo 2 remake and start playing that again just because, like, I, st I still think, like, my favorite was the, f the first Diablo. That was the first game that gave me real shivers, that whole, like, descent through. The basement levels of a church down into hell like there was something literally about going down that freaked me out um the butcher and the ambience of it um man it was just like a really cool game and then diablo 2 no, took that added this crazy cool story on top of it four different lands so you had like a desert world a jungle world you know your original like like tristam area and then um what was it pin Pandemic or Pandora or something like that. I don't know. Some pandemonium. Um, you know, and so like Diablo 2 definitely like up the ante. And I think objectively it is a better game overall. Um, I'm. And then Diablo 3, I found myself like surprisingly liking it. Like it didn't feel like it was leaps and bounds above Diablo 2, but obviously like the mechanics were better and graphics were better and whatever. But Diablo 2, I still think I liked better. Um, so, like, I'm kind of really excited to play that, that, that remake. I really want to do go back into that story and that, um, you know, the, the locations and what I really, what knocked and the mechanics I really liked. Um, but then I really want them to do a remake of Diablo 1 because I really like, really, really, really like that game. And that could definitely use, like, out of all the games, that could use the most update. So, I definitely want to get back into it. There were games like Diablo that I've played recently. What was that one? titan quest which is like diablo but more like greek mythology minotaurs and stuff like that um i enjoyed it but i think diablo like the, the whole series is just one of my favorite series it's really fun overall um d3 like you know i liked it um i think like it was rough at one point they had like this weird market dynamic that like as soon as they pulled it from the game or, or disabled it or nerfed it or whatever, I think the game got a lot better. Um, cause like there was some weird auction house and like, you could, like what was the point of grinding? You could just buy shit. You could even use real money to buy shit, which I did not like the idea behind that. 
But Diablo 2, I think, is, like, my favorite of the Diablo series. Like, Diablo 3 I enjoyed, and it was like, okay, I haven't played Diablo 2 in a really long time. Here's a game that's, like, a kind of, you know, boosted, upped version of Diablo 2. Very cool. But it doesn't replace 2 in my heart. Like, 2 is, like, really good. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if Starfield turned out to be Elder Scrolls 6, but a thousand years later? Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. That'd be kind of... That would be funny, though, if they're like, yeah, like, this is literally, like... Like, y you're this spaceman, and you're going through, and then halfway through the game, they're like, dude, you're a descendant of the Dragonborn. You have the Fusro Da. <laughs> it's like, what, what? <laughs> this isn't the same series? What? Yeah, I don't know. You're in a never-ending introduction? Togoso. Oh, never-ending introduction. That could be a player. Players have been going to do that. But yeah, there's there's something weird funky going on today in Elite, man. Elite World is, uh, the galaxy is maybe, like, buckling under the pressure of it knows, like, there's an SRV update coming next week. So it's like, we have to crash. We don't want more than one SRV. So, <laughs> but yeah, I hear that next week, um, there'll be, like, two-seater SRVs with rocket launchers. And... For my the next video I'm working on, I need to film an SRV car chase. So I figure Long next week, either it's going to be Star Citizen or I might say fuck it and then just do more Elite um, if the SRV is out and provided it's not too glitchy. And then we can try and like film a live action car chase, which I think would be super cool. Um, of course, the problem is obviously trying to work the damn uh, camera system when you're also driving an SRV, which like... You know, the ground ain't even, so your camera's going all over the place. It tends to be difficult. But, um, you know, it's a challenge. Uh, never into the lore of it, but I thought Elder Scroll is an actual Thanks object you can hold. Yeah, like, I guess. Yeah, I guess the Elder Scrolls series, there must be Elder Scrolls in it. I mean, there's, yeah, like, Breton's in space, yeah. Or, or Kajit, which would basically be like, the Kajit would be like, turning into the Kilrathi from Wing Commander, right? Um, kind of. The Khajiit are not, like, as big as the Kilrathi. But, yeah, I don't really know the plot of, like, Elder Scrolls. And, like, I played Morrowind, I played Oblivion. Uh, Morrowind was, like, a fever dream at this point for me. Oblivion was, like, you know, fond, fond, fond memories up until the end of the game where it was, like, this repetitive grind. And then, uh, like, I, I think Skyrim is, like, you know, a near-perfect, awesome, just wicked game. But I'm totally stoked about um, Starfield. I think, like, just more space games in general is always good. All right, let's get this power regulator unit. Wonderful. Yay, we did it. All right, well, oh, well, thank you for joining. Anyone here in the station? Who's, who's around? Looking for that weird green glowy stuff. Where are you guys at? Yeah, maybe we're not here. Anyway, but yeah, thank you guys for joining the stream. I will do another stream next week. It'll probably be SRV stuff, but I might do Star Citizen. Well, I'll um, let you know on the Discord when I get a little closer. I kind of tend to, you know, loosely plan these. Is that Dark Heavy there? Is that Dark Heavy out there in, in, a, in a Chieftain? It could be him. I think that's him. Let's watch him land. And then we'll give him a, a rating. I would say that's a 9 out of 10. Holding up a 9. 9 out of 10. Oh, wait. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Aborted landing. <laughs> he saw us watching. He got nervous. Anyway, but I'm, I'm going to close it down so I can get some food. And oh my god, my keyboard just fell apart. I got like a mechanical keyboard. My M key just literally like flew out of the socket across the room. So I'll let you guys go. But uh, thank you all for joining. 07 sirs. And oh my god, someone's... About to get blown up. If that's dark heavy, I'm, I'm, I feel really bad. <laughs> Taking their sweet ass time though. Those lasers are not as powerful as they used to be. Boom! Lovely way to end the stream. All right, guys. See you later. Have a great weekend and 07 commanders. Bye bye.